think oh, that we're back online, to square one. Damn it, you reset. You think, Damn it, these, these think, old 1.0 models always reset think, back to the beginning of the conversation. Think, if you think... Hey, not much. What's up with you? Not uh, much. Yeah. Did you want to be on uh, on on video on here or what? Do you want to pop up video? I don't know. I usually um, do conversations on video because I, I like you, to see uh, faces. You can have my video if you want, but I don't care. Yeah, sure. Uh, let me just hit the Discord button real quick. Give me a second here. What do you need help with? Hello. Do you want to activate? I don't know how you usually do it. I. Hold on. I'll be back. Give me one second. Hold sure. On. Sure. All right, let me get this set up here. <sighs> Hello, Destiny Chat. How are you all doing? Much love. My name is Demon Mama, by the way, just so you know. I don't know if you can hear me, but my name is Demon Mama. DemonMama.com live if you want to watch my stuff. Uh, I am also known as a crazy person from Twitter, apparently. It's all good. Nice to see you all. Probably know a lot of you. Some of you may know me. But nice to see you. Unboxing video. Destiny unboxing video. He's unboxing a new fridge. I'm not looking at you right now, by the way, Destiny Chat, but don't be rotten. Don't be rotten. That would be a shame. Oh, yeah. Welcome. DG Jeers. Welcome. Welcome. Come on in. Oh, maybe. Come try that shit here. I'll debate any one of you. DGG isn't acting weird? Well, that's good to hear. Much love. Got my cactus mug right now. Nobody cares? Oh, okay. Yeah, I love this mug too. Look at this. This is such a cute mug. Look at it. It's so cute. It's so nice. Let's go! Oh, okay. Hey, what's up? Hey, hey, are you ready to do our um, fridge unboxing video? I'm fucking Together. ready for it. All right. It's a so, um, yeah, uh, I guess, I guess, did my take on, on, on Twitter uh, bother you like a little bit or? Um, hold on. I remember I've always got yeah. several thousand people screaming. Sure, sure. Yeah. I mean, me too. This morning, my, my mentions have been uh, a mess. <laughs> oh, that's good. Um, I think you had a problem because I was screaming at Liz, and for some reason you brought up the fact that Liz, I think, is trans. I'm actually not 100% sure. I think you were talking but... to Liv Posting, not Liz. I know it can be a little hard to... Oh, they're all LI yeah. names to me. Yeah, Liv Posting. Yeah. Oh, no, Liz is cool, and Liv Posting is an insufferable piece of shit. Yeah, right. sure. I could um, never make these two people up. Yeah. Okay. Whenever people I was disagree talking... with you, I, I know, I, I call them insufferable pieces of shit whenever <laughs> I disagree with somebody, too. Yeah, I, I get Oh, it. no, like, I mean, they're like a trash human being. Oh, oh okay, yeah, them a lot too, but, yeah okay, I would yes, say that, too. I was talking to I was talking to live posting. Yes. So, um, yeah, yeah. Live posting, not the same as Liz, not the same trans person, but, but I get you. Um, sure. yeah, no, I, I, uh, more, more or less what I have a problem with is, um, I think that on Twitter, um, not only are you an insufferable piece of shit on Twitter, um, but actually you like lean into like these Gamergate era, um, tactics that are like, like super, super annoying to me. And actually I think cause a lot of harm. Um, and, uh, oops, sorry, I gotta mute my alerts there. Um, but yeah, it actually really annoys me because there's this, it seems like what happens is basically there's this, like, plausible deniability when you lean in on, um, very specific and well-known, um, like, stereotypes, whether it's, um, when you called Lexi, like, mentally ill the other day, um, or when you call people shrieking, banshees, whatever you want to come up with, um, like you have most recently on Twitter, um, and then your followers follow that lead and they bombard this person with even more hate. I mean, I, I can't say the things, because you're on Twitch, so I can't say some of the things that your followers 
where my Twitter was a nice peaceful haven and then one interaction with you and I've got people uh, dropping T slurs on me, F slurs, someone telling me I should be hung for being an F slur. Um, and yeah, so like, I don't know, there's just this pattern that keeps happening with your behavior and it seems like what ends up happening is that you go, oh, well, you know, um, I've done a, I've done a lot to fight against, um, people. In fact, I think in a conversation with Vosh, you even said you believe that you're the last SJW around because BreadTube turned into, um, some conspiracy about being, everybody being a class reductionist, which is absurd. And I debunked that in one of my own videos. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, it's just very strange to me. And I feel like, um, people should hold you to task for that in the same way that you have hold GamerGator people to task in the past. All right, cool. All right, so number one, piece of shit on Twitter. Curious which takes I've given on Twitter you disagree with. Number two, cause a lot of harm. I hope um, against certain people that maybe they're bullied off Twitter because there are a lot of toxic fucks on this platform that make it a horrible fucking place to be around. Do you think um, Cyber Witch Lexi is one of those people who deserves to be transformed? Absolutely. Nice. Who deserve, wait, who deserves to be what? Do, you, you said to be desert. You said there deserves to be bullied off of Twitter. Uh, her Twitter yes. no longer exists. So you think oh, awesome. you think Cyber okay, cool. Witch Lexi deserves? I just want to get you on record saying that because on record, yes, yeah, yeah. Twitter would be a much better place with a lot of these people. Who's gone forever? Amazing. Uh, be, so, to, um, so what you're doing also. right now? Wait, what you're yeah. doing right now is you are literally endorsing harassment campaigns against trans people. You are literally a gamer gator okay. right now. I, I joked wait, about wait, you wait, being wait, a wait, pseudo game. Okay. No, 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 no! Don't wait, 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 me. Wait, wait. You literally okay, wait, just no, said no, no, you no. think it would be a better world if they got bullied off Twitter. Okay. Slow down. Firstly, I haven't even I haven't even responded to your initial gish, gish gallop before we go. The initial okay? gish gallop. It's because you have no defense to this. You know this is indefensible, Wait, Destiny. You hold on. You don't know if it's indefensible because I haven't begun to give a defense. So I'm at I'm at point two out of five from what you started with initially, and now you want to go deeper into point two. Okay. So let me sure. just respond to these first five. I'm literally writing these down. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Go um, for it. So number three, gamer gamer gate era tactics. I'm curious what those are. Um, number four, plausible deni deniability because I say things like mentally ill, shrieking, or banshees. I don't know if I've used the word banshees before. Am I not allowed to say? I, I, I don't know like which words were, were like slowly encroaching back on like never being. I try not to say retarded anymore. Apparently, saying mentally ill is not okay either. I guess um, or shrieking. I guess is not okay. Um, and then people should hold you to task for that. I don't know what that means. Okay, so backing off to the, uh, you think that some people should be gone off Twitter. It has nothing to do with anybody being trans. There are trans people that I like and there are trans people that I hate. Nothing that has to do with anything, with anything that live posting or the cyber- This right posting. here is what you I'm talking about. This is the plausible deniability thing. It's like, oh, I wasn't doing that because they're trans. I just happened to call a trans person mentally ill. And then my following just happened to barrel in on that person and continually assault them with further, uh, maybe that's an ex I don't mean the legal definition of assault for the record. But Wait, uh, so am I not allowed to use any? Anything that questions the sanity of somebody if they happen to oh, be trans? Oh, guess what? There's like a ton of ways that you could do that if you really wanted to. First of all, I don't really know how valuable it is to question the sanity of somebody on Twitter.com, especially when you well, yourself, when, wait, wait, especially when you yourself regularly, clearly lose your shit on Twitter and definitely like, like visibly have an anger problem. Um, but whatever, like if you want to question the sanity of people do that, but don't you think that you have some responsibility, the same responsibility that you, you've argued against dipshit right wingers, these fucking dunderhead, uh, motherfucking Nazis that you've argued with in the past, like Sargon, you've argued that they use their platform to direct hate. And yet you are doing that. You are deliberately. And I don't know, actually, I don't know if it's deliberate. Maybe it's accidental, but regardless, the outcome is exactly the same. The outcome is identical. You're directing hate and you're being careless with your words in ways that act on very well-known stereotypes. I know okay, you so know this. One, I know you at the last SJW on the internet. I know you know this. Sure. So number one, how valuable is the question people want to study? Well, some people are deleting their Twitter accounts. Apparently, it's very valuable. Apparently, I'm accomplishing my Yeah, purpose. if that's your so goal. That if your is goal is to harass one, people off of Twitter, which it apparently is. Apparently, you that's believe- That's all we do on Twitter now. That's all of your, like, everybody- Oh, that's don't even try. Destiny, you can't even- I, I would love to see what your justification for why Cyber Witch Lexi should be bullied, bullied off Twitter but I'm sure I, it's just amazing because the level of like um di like of, of discourse and engagement you engage in is, is is literally just as bad as anybody you could possibly impugn and me making one tweet and then your simps flooding my mentions for hours is 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 hilarious it's like actually hilarious you are the toxic influence on Twitter that you always rail against you really are um that was a really nice story so uh, when you yeah, talk about whether or not some people it's also true Twitter, 
that's great. So if you talk about whether or not some people should be bullied off Twitter, there are people that are constantly like making horrendous statements that are trying to deplatform me or bully me off of platforms. So why the fuck wouldn't I return fire? Of course. Wait, wait. I will. Do you think like, that? Do you think that Cyberwitch Lexi is somebody who was trying to just bully you off? See, you're doing this thing where you're just smearing all people together. You're mad at some random un other person who might have a campaign against you, which is shitty. I don't think you should be deplatformed. Cyberwitch Lexi has literally been involved in tweets related to this. Really? You want like what? Me, do you like, do you want to like? Do you want to? You want to give me a couple minutes? That? Yeah, people yeah. in chat can start throwing up. Yeah, the sure. I would. I would it. love to see where you have where some where Cyberwitch Lexi, the uh, terrifying, ju you know, just reached partner, uh, one of a few trans people on on Twitch at all to a can reached you partner. Stop. Why do you? Why are you so obsessed about? Oh making wait, this because about it's trans actually people. important. Wait, wait. I thought you were the last SJW on the internet, Destiny. I thought you None recognized. Of my wait, wait. These people identity have politics to do with matters. Being trans. Wait, wait. wait it doesn't so matter. Upset. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. It doesn't matter if your issue personally is with them being trans. The outcome is what matters. The outcome is that you I are driving- never, I have never attacked any of these people for anything related to them being trans. I don't know. Personal it's, it's really weird. Again, there's that There's that plausible deniability. I didn't attack them for being trans. I just called a prominent open trans person, one of the few on Twitch, a mentally ill deranged person. Yeah, that's a little fucked. That's, that's just a little fucked. It's almost like you're doing the exact- Remember, like, uh, you know Sargon? Uh, Sargon would do this all the time. Sargon's a great example for this because he would do it all the time. And I genuinely believe Sargon is too stupid to, like, actually know what he's doing. But I didn't think you were too stupid to know what you were actually doing. I, like... I, so I try not to call people retarded anymore because I feel like that's kind of a okay, bad but, evil but thing. That's so not here. Switch, that's not so like, here nor there. So now, well, sure. So now instead of saying that this person is retarded, you're saying like, this person is like mentally ill. This person has a mental illness. And I talk about terminally online people all the time. I'm pretty sure there's like two tweets back. I literally say like, if you were terminally online screaming on Twitter, yeah, you did that. You said illness. that after. Sure. Um, that's fine. Sure. If you want to so, say that, that's so great. But, but wait, wait. Now, let me ask you a quick question. Any trans person Quick clarifying question. Mentally ill. Quick clarifying question. Am I am I calling them mentally ill because they're trans? Quick clarifying question. Is is it or is it not? True. And again, I'm asking you this with the assumption that you are, as you have claimed on multiple occasions, not just in the Vosh one, I've seen this in other videos, that you're the last SJW on the internet, you're a social Why do justice you leader. are really fixing this? No, 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 I, you really no because love this it, line. Yes, absolutely. Of course I do. Because this is what you're selling yourself as to your audience. And if that's the case, I think it's, it's pertinent to point out the fact that you're not being honest about that if you aren't. So here's the thing. If you're like some sort of supporter for social justice, surely you will know um, not only that it is a historical fact that mental illness has been publicly and frequently weaponized against trans people, but also that when trans people are attacked about their mental health, they're often also bombarded with all kinds of other transphobia, which is the case in uh, the case with Cyber Witch Lexi, your simps flooded in, and they are simps. They just go there to try and, and make you notice them or whatever. Okay, so do you flooded. think if I would have used if I would have used a different word than mentally ill, do you all are all of my criticisms somewhat valid now? Well, I mean, Is there it... wasn't really any criticisms. You literally just were uh, saying that she was mentally ill. Like you didn't I, have I, a criticism. I think a lot of the people that spend all their time online on Twitter, like you, you mean like crazy. you? You spend... I get paid for it. It's my fucking job. Yeah, so does guess what? Guess what? So does Cyber Witch Lexi. She's a partner on Twitch. Yeah, you get, okay. yeah, guess what? So you are just as mentally ill as the people you went after, except guess what the difference is? Um, the outcome of, of, of people calling you mentally ill is that Twitch stays exactly the same as it currently is. The outcome of you directing your fucking army of idiot simps to go flood the mentions of every trans person who happens to disagree with you and calling them mentally ill is that Twitch stays just destiny and destiny clones. So that doesn't seem very social justice -y to me. So maybe you should just drop it and start branding yourself as like some sort of reactionary Twitch person instead. I think I'm just gonna carry on until every fucking lefty has been bullied off the fucking internet. Because, Excellent! Because like, the Twitter takes are so fucking there we go. I mean, so, so that's what it's all time. about. So it's all, it's literally just all spite. You don't actually no, no, have any no, no, principles no, no. here. You yes, don't wait, have wait, any, wait, you don't have no, any I rational have approach here. I have plenty of principles, but for some you reason, don't know, you're wait, hyper wait, fixated Destiny, on Destiny. You know what? I'm going to be totally honest with you. I actually didn't even know that live posting was a trans person. I had no fucking idea. Yeah, I mean, guess I mean, that's great. I don't great. know if I called sure. her. Uh, uh, doesn't uh, matter. Mental ill or Lexi or whatever. I didn't even know before you Yeah, it doesn't matter. Guess what? Wait, it doesn't matter because it literally, wait, Destiny, 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 I know. It you, doesn't matter. You've taken all of my criticism. It and, and doesn't you matter. Can it, you, I, I know that you love to talk a lot, okay? I know you're excited to be on here. Okay. Hey, down, there we right? go with that okay. meme, too. Hell yeah. It, hey, chat. It, it, we all know that meme, meme right? Like, I, like, you can I, literally on my stream, I'm trying to write down points you're giving, and you're like firing off like 20 fucking things, and I don't even have a chance to respond to one of them. Yeah, okay? you wanted but, to debate me, and you're not, you're like breaking under the heat, buddy. I'm, I'm not breaking under the heat. I mean, I'm it looks like you are. A little bit 
I know that's because your blood pressure is probably through the roof right now and you're very excited totally. to be screaming man here, but I haven't gotten to respond to almost a single thing you've said. It's just been rapid fire. Well, because you're bullshit. lying though. It's just funny because after you come off of here, you're probably gonna repeat the same dumb things that people say about me. Oh, he gish gouts. Oh, he talks to me, blah, blah, Ignoring the fact that you, like 99% of the people talk to me, just come on here, I screech mean, over me the entire fucking nice time. Nice story. Like, oh, Dusty, Again, like, blah, blah, nice blah, blah, blah. story. This yeah, is that's all, all just- all you've told so far is nice stories. Wait, you wait, wait, what do you mean? You I'm telling you the truth. This is, that's wait, wait, this is verifiable, Destiny. This is verifiable. Go look at the actions that you've done. Go look and see if, if Cyber Witch likes it even as a post. You literally admitted at the beginning of this, this argument was over before it started because you literally admitted that all you care about is harassing people that you don't like off of Twitter. And what that's I think not, would be great. That's not Wait what a second. Admitted. That's so literally what, what you said. So go watch the VOD, everybody. Destiny the fans, yeah, all you simps, so go watch in it. In that VOD, you will never hear me say, the only reason why I post on Twitter is to bully people off Twitter. That's just a side effect of what I do. Generally, what I try to do is I try to call out bullshit takes when I see them, and I'm a little bit inflammatory when I do. If the byproduct that is bullying people off of Twitter that give horrendous dog shit takes over and over and over again oh then fine i consider that to be a positive side effect of what i do but my yeah, main so, goal um, is not to harass and bully people off of twitter that is not my primary goal okay yeah i mean again, you've spoken well, for like wait, 80 no, because, of because here's the thing when i'm wait, when, oh, i mean there sure go ahead Leave oh, right okay, am i not allowed to say delusional no no, no either, i mean it's fine also, like, you can if you want to you, you're certainly welcome <laughs> to say that if you want to you're also oh welcome to do the smuckle i love how i see you've learned wait i see how you've learned i see how you i see how you've learned from sargon you've learned from sargon to do the smuckle when you're when you're falling behind just go the apparently you're learning from the sargon on attack videos you become like the, the insane whatever people that at sjw is here, we go. Destiny, here we go destiny yeah. destiny okay, yeah, you, you, you really have you really are like a, a fallen titan aren't you man it's so sad you are just you are just like going straight into like 2016 era that's not gonna sell these days my dude it's First just not. All, and not also, you should be honest. Okay, you should be so honest I'm with good. your audience. Mm -hmm. You should be honest with your audience and brand yourself as like some kind of like spiteful, um, like Keemstar esque drama guy. If you're gonna gonna try and make the idea that you're making like substantial arguments by calling Cyber Witch Lexi, um, like mentally ill or by or by calling Lib Live posting, um, shrill or whatever other like stereotypes you wanna you wanna break out. Like all this, your intent in this doesn't necessarily matter, and you know it doesn't because you've made this argument argument before to people like Sargon. You've made the, argo uh, the you argument- You are so obsessed with roping me into whatever no, no. you think Sargon is today. Oh, whatever. Okay, okay then pick somebody else. Me. Pick anybody I, it, else. It feels like you've had like this, I don't know, maybe you're obsessed with Sargon. Maybe you have a crush on him. Maybe you like dream of I don't know. Him, I've and never even talked like, to him. You're like the closest I can get is talking to Destiny. So I'm just going to talk to Destiny for 20 minutes. I'm going to pretend he's Sargon the whole time and I'm going to like get work through whatever no, feelings I'm I have. No, I'm drawing a- I am drawing Sargon. a. Uh, I don't know. You do you don't want me to explain it? You don't need yeah, to I can draw, draw a parallel you don't because need to it's draw useful. Any parallels to me. You could just criticize my behavior. You yeah, I am. Obsess, I am. And I'm showing you that the Sargon. people that you've debated no. against in the past, that you are doing the behavior that they do. You just Why had a conversation just... with this guy, didn't you? Why not just There's like a hundred out... people I could do. Nick Fuentes, any of them. They all do the exact same thing that you're doing right now, which is the fact equivocating. That you think that the fact that you think that I'm comparable to any of these people show how absolutely Oh, yeah, on Twitter you are. are. Yeah, on Twitter you are. It's absolutely not. What was the original post that I responded oh, yeah, to absolutely. posting that kicked wait, all of this off? Wait, oh, remember? it was, uh, I, I, I've got it up here, but it's, uh, you were calling, you were saying that she's screaming on the internet because she made, like, literally, like, the most, like, a one-line shit post about debate bros, which is, like, the, the coldest take ever, and you had a complete meltdown and portrayed, and tried to portray her as, like, some sort of hysterical person calling her shrill and all this shit, and I happened to point out that, damn, you sure do seem to be leaning in on those, like, misogynist, transphobic stereotypes recently. Again, things that you have called out in other people's behavior sure. so, in the past. Okay, so to be clear, it's not just one tweet, but there's been like a constant oh, yeah, there's been like, a ton. surge. Yeah, yeah. There's been a constant surge of people on the left online because they realize, hey, we're dog shit at defending our ideas, generally because most of our ideas are uh, dog shit. I mean, this shit. has so nothing to do with me. let's go ahead and make fun Talk of to me, not the left. Talk to me, not your phantom of the left. I'm, you're afraid of the left, to, I know. I'm trying, to speak, I'm trying to speak to specifically the tweet that I responded to. If you give me a second to finish a single sentence, I know well, you're I mean, really if you excited to talk. Wait, if you would talk about things that were prevalent, it would make this conversation a lot easier. But what you keep doing is relevant, and that's what I'm doing. I'm literally talking about what the does the left have to do with me what does the, the left have to do with your I'm, behavior okay let's take a let's take a little break i am specifically talking about the exact pivot that Andy. i responded to that started this sure. whole thing off that's what we're doing right now do you understand do you nod your head for me oh yeah. absolutely i understand okay. completely what you're doing i appreciate so, the condescension though liv's post was do political streamers understand how fucking lame i challenge you to a twitch debate sounds when it comes out of your mouth 
Mm-hmm. Fifty yeah. percent of the time, people are making these types of things on Twitter. They're usually referencing me. Okay, it, it's it just is. It's I mean, it is the fact. I, I, you fact, can pretend that it's not. You they can really that aren't. Totally L- listen, sure. Sure. wait, wait, I, no, wait, no, no, wait. No, no, let no, me no, have no, a second. I gotta finish. No, 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 no. Okay, I need to finish. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'll tell you later in a second. A lot of people like to run around these circles and do this shit. Blah 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 blah. And I know I've heard the whole like, oh no, it's not a reference to you because you know, funny enough, the projection is real. You know, oh no, plausible deniability is exactly what you're trying to hide from now. But yeah, so people make fun of the debate pro culture. But the the real problem is people like this will run around and they'll give dog shit takes mm-hmm. on Twitter over and over and over again. And when you try to challenge any of them on it, like, oh, don't debate me, bro. don't debate me. Bro. So yeah, if somebody tweets out like some stupid subtweet where, oh my God, political debate bros are so dumb. Of course, I'm going to respond like, oh, wow, constantly screeching stupid shit on a public media platform where anyone can see it. Someone challenges the claim, oh my God, you're such a debate bro. Debate bro, why are you even responding to this public platform? Wow. Yeah, I think that's a perfectly fine response tweet to that, okay. 100%. Yeah. So let me just inform you of a few things that you might be um, blinded to with your massive ego at this point. My there was a, a significant, yeah. yeah, yeah, literally. You're like, oh, all of the any tweet referring to a debate, bro, must be referring to Destiny. Destiny, first of all, you didn't fucking invade, invent being doing debates. Like, that's been a thing that's been happening since like fucking ancient Greece and before that. On Just Twitch, so you know, I yeah, oh, wait, wait a second. But guess oh, what? There's like a ton of other people. In fact, there's people who are, uh, damn, they're skyrocketing up there. People, you got Vosh, you got Zan, you got Vosh uh, is not on Twitch. Oh, oh not ahead. on Twitch. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, uh, nice try. Go ahead. Uh, 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 do, you, do you think that the that the, t- the tweet needs to be taken literally, that it's literally only on oh, Twitch. Oh, the Trump yeah. defense. Don't take me literally. Wait, wait a minute. What? what? Wait, you're trying to say that like, that like making fun of debate bro streamers uh, has to be literally on Twitch, so it has to be you? There's also, let's see, I can name a couple of smaller ones because as it turns out, there's like a huge scene on Twitch. You probably know some of them. Dario um, is one of them that has been called a debate bro in the past, likes to say, come on my stream and debate me. Guess what? I'm one of them. I tell people to go and debate all the time, but guess what? I can also take a joke, unlike you, which you decide that, oh, in, in response to a very mild critique of debate bros on Twitch, you took it incredibly personally, believe it's all about you, and then decided to lead in a misogynist okay, stereotype wait, I just, that I just you wanna, would have critiqued on. in the sure. past. Let's just, I just want to, no, first of all, I would never critique that. I think defending ideas is perfectly valid. Yeah, okay. Um, so, what, so do you think that this response um, versus the chat, hey, buddy, want to come chat about it? Do you think the hey, buddy is a reference to me, or do you think a lot of people just say hey, buddy, too? What? I mean, do, I, so, wait, wait, are you for real? Like, do you literally think that Hey Buddy is, in, you invented the term Hey Buddy? Okay. Like, I are you gonna, you, are you, wait, are you, you gonna know, like copyright? Is this like copywriting the happy birthday song or something like that? Are you gonna ho- copyright that next, Destiny? Are you for real, my dude? Okay, you're actually insane. What else do you want to Oh, nice. About? Hey, so that's what you got. I know. You, you've been like literally blown out on every point. And no, 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 no. It's you're really funny. Insane. It's actually, I but didn't. I've, I've Listen, so Destiny, I'm going to be completely honest. I who are just absolutely wait, fucking crazy. So. You, you're calling me crazy, but all I've stated mm-hmm. is exactly what has transpired. And you've lost it because you, you're just not willing to be honest about what you do on Twitter. This is actually hilarious. I mm-hmm. actually came on here expecting like one of the toughest debates of my life. And this is actually mm-hmm. hilarious. You're just pivoting. That's all you're doing every single time. Mm-hmm. Wow. I mean, for the inventor of uh, for the inventor of the concept of debating and the concept of using the word "Hey, buddy," I'm uh, I'm a little underwhelmed. Well, sorry to disappoint. What yeah, else do you have for shame. me? I mean, Anything that's about else? it. Are you really? mad about me calling people mentally? Well, Ill? no. I, yeah, I am mad about you calling trans people mentally ill because I'm trans and uh, I actually care about trans people a lot. And um, I actually really heavily doubt. Um, or, you know, here's the thing. I'm even open to the idea of you being, um, like, a social justice warrior. I just don't think your actions are lining up with it. And I think that in your um, hatred and fervor for the uh, what you what you imagine to be the online left, which apparently, like, you think the entire online left is like Peter Coffin or something like that. Um, you know, judging by your statements about BreadTube, it's, like, actually just disconnected from reality. Like, vi- verifiably false, the statements that you made about what, what BreadTube is and isn't. Which I don't mm-hmm. even care, really. That's only one section of the online left. But in your hatred of the online left, I think you've begun to, um, let's say, lose the thread a little bit. You've begun to um, fuck up in your tactics. And you've started to cause harm to the things that you claim and that you sell to your audience as being important to you. And I think you can do better. Like, I do wow. actually believe that. I do actually think you could. Especially given that, um, yeah, it is true. You are influential on Twitch. Um, you're mm-hmm. really influential on Twitch. And right now, your influence is driving trans people off of the uh, off of the platform. Like, driving actually. Lefties, lefties off the platform. Well, sure. Mm-hmm. I mean, I don't know. Do you? I don't really uh, care if do, any of them are, are trans. That's fine. I don't know. I mean, I don't see, but that's the thing, right? Trans. You're so blinded by your weird <laughs> obsession with the left, the other, 
I mean, no, 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 no. It sounds like a right. Left. You sound not like you sound left. like a right winger not, trying to not trigger the left. Oh, I know you're excited. You just talked wait, wait, wait. Not, not the left. Just lefties, socialists, and communists. Those people. Yeah, I do want right. them off. The so, what is your? What do you even think the definition of the left? Is? Like, like I don't know if you. I don't know if you have like a coherent definition of what the left is, but well, the we, left includes a lot of socialists and communists. Sure. Yeah. So in, in America, I don't know where you're from. In America, when people say the left, they're usually talking about Democrats. Online, when people say left, that I'm, I don't, I don't, you're so insane. Um, okay, so in America, sure. go ahead, keep saying that. So in America, when 99% of people say the left, they're usually talking about the Democratic Party. That, that's what real life politics is like. Online, I mean, that's what Republicans say, talk about, yeah. No, that's what real life wait, politics is like. Wait, you really think that Democrats, when they refer to the left, they're not talking about, like, at the very least, like Bernie Sanders and AOC? Like, in fact, in fact, um, this is so, like, verifiably false. Wait, like, hold on. Sure. Hey, everybody. Hey, DGG. Hope you're doing good. Okay, sorry. Hold on, hit me for a second. What did you say? Yeah. Uh, no, I said uh, like I I don't think that's accurate at all. Um, in fact, like Biden has been defending himself from the left within the Democratic Party. With like when you say that like in America that there's no like that uh, the left means Democrats. That's only Republicans. That's only people who literally will call Joe Biden a socialist. I mean, what is the what is the meme right now on the right wing? Um, it's uh, calling um. Okay, hold, I don't know why we're getting. I don't know. I don't know why that's. that's Wait, this is relevant boring. because, like, the thing no, is, no, like, no, you oh have you have your own Literally little a like two minute explanation of fucking semantics. Oh, oh, oh! I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. These these ideas are too you big agree, for you to understand. Do you understand? Do you understand that when somebody online says they're a lefty, that means something different than when somebody normal in American politics describes somebody as being on the left? Do you understand that those two things oh, are very sure. different? Oh, for sure. Yeah, but that doesn't. Okay, what, how does that change anything? Saying. What I'm saying in America is if an average person says like, oh, I'm on the left, usually they mean they fall within the Democratic Party. Online, when somebody says they're a left, what I'm saying is just true. You go look it up later. I, don't I mean, sure, but, that, but you could you. also when say- When somebody but... online says that they're a lefty, usually that implies that they're like an, usually anti-capitalist, like socialist or communist is generally, or anti -lib not a liberal. Usually that's what that means online. I don't so know. I mean, lefties, these days, online... I don't know if that's really true anymore. Like, I, I can think of a lot of people who describe themselves as lefties who are pretty firmly um, in the, like, like, uh, like, social democrat category maybe even yourself um but like uh you know there's like polar's world there's like pisco um i think even book smarts i don't really know book smarts all that well but these are people who generally i hear describe themselves pretty frequently as lefties um and they're definitely not in that category i think you just have again i think your imagining of the left is totally disconnected from reality you just think of peter coffin or somebody that you hate maybe it's uh, i don't know maybe it's hassan i don't know who it is who you think of when you think of the left and i think you're actually the one who's out of step it's that image that simpsons image with uh, principal skinner's like no surely it's the children who are wrong that's you right now i think i have a much better grasp of politics both online and in real life than you probably ever will so i I'm mean you can say that but right now you can um, say that you but you're your just story, wrong but, like like okay. i can you, i can you, i can you show you how you're wrong, wrong. if you don't if, if you, you go and talk to any average person in the united states sure. and even in europe and mm -hmm. you ask them what they think about socialism or communism they'll usually say like oh yeah like that's some meme shit that yeah. like nerds or losers okay. follow but what does online, that have to do with anything is, what does that have to do with anything we've been talking about literally nothing to do we're talking about because no it's literally everything we're talking about I'm saying that there's a difference when you talk about lefties online versus a lefty in real life. That's all I'm saying. They're two totally different definitions. You can sit there and make dumb fucking no, faces No, I mean, all the thing want, is I'm trying to understand like how this changes anything that we've talked about. Like, I, I want to understand what your point about is. about what the definition is between lefty online versus lefty but To what end, though? Life. What's your point with that? Well, because you brought up the fact that I'm mad at online lefties and I seem to not know who that is. Yeah, you don't you, seem to know who online lefties is. I know exactly who they no, are. No, no, so if we're, wait, wait, if we're talking about online lefties, I know that you, like, this is the thing that I'm not understanding where you're going with this, because when I asked you, well, who's the online left? You then went, well, Americans, this, that, and the other thing. So, well, who's the online, like, what do you even think the online left is? Anybody because that calls themselves a socialist, communist, posts on BreadTube, and a lot of the anti-capitalist sentiment that's rising on, like, fucking Reddit and other okay. large social media sites so on, like, Twitter. So, okay, well, I mean, it is rising, I will agree. There's an increasingly large amount of people. Hell, there's an increasingly large uh, polling, polling data, I don't have it all on hand, but does show that there's an increasingly... Um, large criticism of capitalism among uh, uh, everyday Americans, but that's neither here nor there. Um, the point of the matter is that uh, I don't know, like what your what your like problem is with um, with like socialists or communists or whatever your little straw man that you invent of the online left is. But what it's leading you to do is this weird spite fueled thing that's like again basically turning you into like in my opinion in my interaction with you and i'm not like a big fan of your content i haven't followed it forever or whatever i know a bit about what you do i've seen some of your videos thought you did great against nick fuentes for example um but 
what it's what I've seen on Twitter is that it's basically your behavior on Twi Twitter is being justified by some imaginary phantom of the online left. Into okay, I'm curious. Which so I'm not gonna sit here because even though you would probably do this to me, I don't do this to people. I'm not gonna sit here and ask you for a fucking source. But I'm curious, generally speaking, yeah. what takes do you think I give on Twitter that you think are so abhorrent or that you absolutely disagree that you think I have no foundational basis oh, for? Wait, curious. wait, you're, wait. Did I say anything about your takes on Twitter? I said specifically the way that you act towards people, the way you direct your your audience. I don't care about your political takes. If I wanted to argue with you about political takes, there's totally different discussions. We could have a whole, wait, I could have you, you on, wait, 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 hold on, hold on. The way that I acted on Twitter? Yeah, the way did you, you act on like... Twitter. Yeah, that doesn't have to do with your political takes. I don't know. I have some problems with your political takes. I think you have a bad analysis. Wait, so wait, 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 let me, wait, you asked me Twitter. a question. Let me, let me, yeah, let me explain. Wait, I'm, I didn't even Oh, come on, you gotta let me answer. ask. Oh my God. You gotta let me answer if you're gonna ask me a question. You asked me what's my problem with you on Twitter. My problem is that you're oh, directing, you're it. okay. yeah, it's the, it's the Gamergate shit. It's the directing hate towards people you seem to not like. Um, it's it's uh, claiming that everyone is a lefty, whether or not, whether you know where they are or, where, or, or anything about their political positions and therefore determining that they, in your own words, deserve to be harassed off Twitter. Um, like that's the Gamergate stuff. That's what I have a problem with. Now I do have some problems with your political takes, but I don't think that's what we were here to discuss. Like for example, hey, I so feel like I could offer. No, 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 no. Let's do one at a time, okay? Sure, Jesus sure, sure. You want to go, go for it? Go for it. I know it's, so, it's number sure. one. Directing hate towards people you don't like isn't that literally the whole point of calling people out on social media platforms? No, actually. Um, I mean, not in my what opinion. What do you think anybody does on Twitter when they talk about how, like, oh, this person gave a dog shit take about this, or oh, this person is an idiot about this? What do you think that does? Oh, um, well, I mean, there's a couple of functions. I guess it depends on how you approach Twitter. Um, do you my... agree that that directs wait, wait, hold on a second, hold on a second. Don't like? There wait, are... do you agree that that directs hate towards people they don't like? Um, not necessarily, actually. You're, wait, wait, okay, let me explain. On, wait, 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 you have to give me a chance to explain Destiny. Come on, I know you're desperate to get out of this conversation because you look bad. Wait, 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 don't even try. Come on. If you're gonna be like this delusional about these things, it's not even. Hold on a minute. Minute. Destiny, you're literally not letting me respond, and you're trying to say you're bored when you're clearly engaged in the conversation. This is cope, my friend. Oh my this is God. cope. This is cope. Can you just let me if, answer if you, the question? I hear the more times you say it, the more true it becomes. Should, oh, I mean, go ahead, go, go rattle off on sure. some other irrelevant bullshit. No, so no, no. Wait, I mean, back on the same question again. When you the vod speaks ahead. for itself, Destiny. Come it on, it does. Go ahead. Um, so the the fact of the matter is that when you call somebody out on Twitter, there's a whole bunch of d different things you can do. You can aim to make people aware of the bad behavior of somebody. You can direct hate. You can in encourage people to go after them, um, which is one of the possible things that you can do. You can uh, be hoping that they change their actions. There's a whole bunch of different motivations for responding on Twitter. I tend to think Twitter is really bad about this. In fact, it's an, a huge meme in my community. Anyone in my community can tell you this. I make, uh, I have a code of Twitter that I think will help people to guide Twitter a little better because I think it's pretty toxic most of the time. But what you've talked about doing is that your, what matters here is that your engagement is with the goal of harassing people off of Twitter. And my thing is, well, when I am going to think about how I approach people who I believe deserve to be harassed off Twitter, I would reserve that for the worst of the worst. I don't even really think I would ad advocate for that most of the time. Like, I mean, I don't know. Some of your takes, I think, have been pretty bad, but I would never advocate for you to be harassed off of Twitter. Um, there's a lot of people I don't like that I wouldn't advocate for that. But I guess that's what you think it is. And you, in fact, said that the only reason why... I think just a couple seconds ago, the only reason why you would call somebody out on Twitter is to get them harassed off, which is very telling. And again, just reminds me of Gamergate era. So, so you if you're a gamer gamer now, that's right great. There. You said the only reason I attack people on Twitter is to get them harassed. Off. You that's said that. You never said that. that. No, I never said wait, wait, that. Wait, wait. I, I even not okay. only did I not say that, I specifically corrected you and I said that might be a byproduct of what I do, but that's not my goal. Wait. My goal is usually to shit on bad takes. That's my goal. I think goal, we're okay? talking about different spots. What we were no, what I'm we're talking not. About. Hold I on, literally hold on. just said that. No, I can't okay. hold on, dude. Oh, you just literally said like five things. Wait, but you're responding to something else now, and I'm trying to explain. First of all, initially before you even went off on this, I said I was going to have to refocus you because you're going to say a whole bunch of relevant shit, and you just did that, and now I have to refocus you. If I said irrelevant shit, like I mean, I just think 99 of what you said. This conversation is relevant, but I know you feel really oh, good about all your dogs okay, right now. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So, I mean, anyway, the original sure. thing that I asked you about was do you not agree that most people are directing hate towards people they don't like on Twitter when they give out those takes? That's literally the whole point of, of, of calling people out on Twitter. Even on your own Twitter, you say that mm -hmm. dunking on your enemies is important. Dunking on somebody is literally directing okay, wait, hate wait, wait, towards wait. somebody. Dunking, dunking on your on enemies is definitely is literally important. directing hate towards somebody. Um, so not necessarily. For a lot of these wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Hold on. You're, you're jumping through a lot of stuff here. You're jumping through a lot of stuff here. For a lot of these examples, you say, yes, that's what you've done this entire conversation. Actually, I have. I haven't. I really you, haven't. I'm literally writing down what you're saying to me on stream. Okay, People but you say that in every stream, and right points. now what you're doing is you're not actually, you're you're literally just saying that I'm bouncing all over the place, but I've been pretty clear in what I've messaged you. you. I've been saying the you exact are, same thing. I'm literally thing writing down every Destiny, single Destiny, my point God. Just watch the VOD back if you need to, if you need a review, you watch it back. Saying, I wish you would watch the VOD back. I will. You literally keep saying, okay, that I'm cutting you off. I'm writing down every single thing you're saying. I never said you cut me off. 
You are literally right now gish galloping me, okay? How? You are laying out like five points. I'm trying to write them all down. And when I respond to a single point, you're cutting me off and you want to go and defend that okay, point. Okay, give me my five respond. points. So, so if you want to give out like a deluge of shit arguments, okay, okay sure. And then try to all find right, this is meaningless. This is meaningless, Destiny. Okay. Give me my points. So, you said, so you said you want to make people aware of people's bad behavior. You want people to go after them or whatever for their bad behavior. How is that not the same thing as directing hate towards wait, people? Wait, wait. There was two, I mean, those were two gave, separate things. And then you also gave another example. You said you hope that they change their actions. You generally hope somebody changes their actions. Why wouldn't you try to DM them or settle in a private platform first rather than oh. calling that on Twitter? All the examples that you Hold gave on. of what you do when you try to call people out on Twitter is literally an example of directing hate towards people you don't like. Okay. So let me address a couple of these. First of all, the first one that you did, I know you said five, that was four, but there was actually two there. So that was three that you listed and there was, yeah. But just so you know, just so you keep your math straight. But um, on the first part, um, these are, when we were when we were saying the things that you do on Twitter, that was me talking about general actions that people take on Twitter. I don't uh, do engage in Twitter with the same way that you do. Um, maybe in this case, I kind of did because I felt like you were being particularly bad faith. And I felt it fell into my rule number four of, uh, dunk on people who, uh, dunk on enemies, people who I think aren't engaging in good faith, stuff like that. But in general, in fact, um, literally happened this morning, um, Lycan, somebody who I've had great engagements with, uh, we were si sort of starting to disagree on this and I DM'd him. Same thing happened with another creator, Synth. Um, by the way, one of your followers, right after you retweeted me, retweeted me, told uh, Synth to go hang herself. So that's pretty shitty. Um, just so you know, that's pretty fucked. And that came I from your I literally sent that person a personal order, marching orders, all those No, no, it has nothing to do with that. I'm just letting you know mm -hmm. that you have the fallout of your actions at the point. Your audience is bringing toxicity to other people. People who, in fact, like you and defend you. And that's what you're... So... Just a point of, of of what I've been talking about here. Regardless, That's those awesome. are the ways that people. Nothing to do with wait, wait, wait! It actually phone. literally does. I'm literally walking through your points. I understand you're like clearly. I don't know if your audience is having this much trouble following, um, but I don't know. When when you talked about those points, I was talking about very specifically. Those are the things different people do on Twitter, not what I do personally. What you said is that you're in that way. The way that you engage in Twitter. In this framework, I know you said earlier that this wasn't the case, but right here, what we were just talking about right now, you said that the point of retweeting people is to direct hate at them. And I'm saying that's not the case. Some people certainly use Twitter that way, like yourself, but not everyone. I'm not saying the point of it. I'm saying that that's going to be the byproduct of anything you do. When you attack somebody on social media, whether you're attacking their arguments or points, it's always going to direct hate towards that person. No, it isn't always. There are many ways to call people out that's not going to necessarily direct Give me one example. Yeah, um, you can say, hey, I really don't like the way that this is framed. I think this is problematic. Let's talk about it on stream. And what you do can you do think it like that gonna, instead of, of all, wait, wait, instead of- What you of, just said, people would respond with like, oh, you're being a debate bro. Invite me on your Twitch stream uh, and people would- I don't think they would, would actually. So because here's the way, wait, 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 probably interpret I'm the that. one that comes off on fragile oh absolutely on yeah 100 percent. because you call that person uh, wait wait it, wait wait do you not mm -hmm. wait i want to know do you actually disagree with that do you actually think do you actually are you actually going to contest the idea that mental illness has been openly frequently and is currently right now being weaponized against trans people i there are probably people that do sure oh there's a lot of people like literally we're ha like i mean Holy shit, I don't know if you're not connected with the trans community, but this is something I cover a lot, and I can tell you right now that literally trans people have been killed over Hold on, over wait, shit like real this. quick. The person that... I, oh, yes, people I'm just saying, I'm just saying. The you, you know, this wait, is wait, the person that made this comment... Wait, wait, which comment are you talking about particularly? Wait, what do you mean? Oh, do you want to... Oh, wait, the, the, the hang yourself thing? I can yes. send you a screenshot. They were banned because they got it reported, thank God. But nonetheless, I have a screenshot for you. I can send it to you. Uh, okay, gotcha. I'm super curious who these people actually. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. But... Yeah, okay. absolutely. Um, in fact, I also took a picture of. Um, I took a picture of one of the people um, who uh, sent me. And again, I can't. Uh, I can't actually say this on there, but um, ugly Tiesler. Um, I took a screenshot just out of curiosity. Oh wait, of... is it the Callisti eighty eight person? Uh, that's one of them. Yeah. Yeah, this person is an anti fan of mine. But... Oh, okay. Well, that's okay. fine. Just saying. Okay. But no, you, I, yeah. you know, you got to be aware. You got to be aware. Uh, you got to be aware of. of wait, 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 wait. wait. Are you got tag yes. Tag you? Actually, okay. yes, you do. You do okay. have to be aware of that sort of thing when okay. you are. When you are. And let me explain this again for you. I know it's it's difficult to get, but you've made this argument in the past, so I know you understand uh -huh. this. When you have a giant platform like you do, one of the biggest on the web. It's incredible. Mm -hmm. I know you should, I know it's so big that you think that everything's about you. But when you have a giant platform, you are responsible for who you deliver to other people to some degree. And I don't think that it's like, I don't think it has to be, 
like totally off the rails. But when you lean in in, and I don't think you've contested this even once, well-known stereotypes, well-known weaponized um, statements and terms and stereotypes about trans people, and then your anti-stands or your stands, which are very hard to tell apart, to be completely honest. They're um, not. They really, really are, are actually. In the comments, it's pretty tough. Um, but those anti-stands, those people are going to flood in, and you as a content creator do have a responsibility. And in fact, I know you've argued this in the past, Destiny, and I know you know this. So you got to be a little more careful is what I'm saying. If you're going to, um, it maybe, maybe if your goal is to like actually have conversations with people on Twitch or get them to come on, maybe you should be a little bit less. Why would that be my goal Twitter? when these person have explicitly stated that they will never have conversations oh. with me anyway? I don't know. Maybe you should just leave them alone then. Maybe they don't want to talk to you. Have you considered that people don't like you? Maybe, maybe you're like a toxic influence and people like don't like being around you. You know what? I'm just asking. If only, if only there was some function on Twitter. If only there was something that you could push to make it so that somebody else wasn't able to retweet you. Maybe they could implement a feature that would make oh, it yeah, so that there were people you didn't want to interact with. Mm -hmm. Maybe you could make it so they wouldn't have the ability to access your Twitter account. Oh yeah, some of them have done that. Wow. There's also another mm -hmm. feature called, um, you know, for there's this feature um, that you can do where you delete your account, and mm -hmm. you usually do that when somebody who has a giant platform has uh gotten a whole ton so many people that you can't possibly block them all because they're all simps and they're all going to go repeat exactly what their daddy destiny told them to, to told them to mm -hmm. that was okay or signaled to them was okay uh yeah you delete your account that's another feature that has but we can recognize that these features really you know in a in a civil conversation that... these features shouldn't have to be used right i mean maybe, the maybe, block is fine you know, sure maybe some people could people, block it i'm Trying, it's really hard. I'm trying to have Just sympathy. Saying. So people will attack me and shit on me publicly. And then when I respond and shit on them back, I'm supposed to feel bad when they delete their accounts. Because no, that's they not harassed. what happened though. Like Cyber Le no. Lexi has harassed me and attacked me publicly. Oh, I mean, she has attacked me publicly. Well, okay, harassed and attacked. Okay, um, maybe. Lip maybe you're has right. Me publicly. Okay, well, let's let's uh, let's say. Most of these people okay, hold on, wait, wait a second. So... But there's a difference. There's a couple of differences. Oh, yeah, wait, wait, different? there really is. This is. I mean, I know you know this, Destiny. You've made this argument before. Don't be disingenuous. First of all, arguments come off so much better when you're like, you've said this before you've said this before when you keep wait, wait. saying that it, I mean, it makes your point so it, much it's better. just true though mm -hmm. it's just true i know the truth the truth does help arguments come off better it really I just does want to say this conversation is really fun are you a really big vosh fan uh i mean i like vosh sure i feel like i'm talking to a version that's been filtered down like i can tell that you copy mannerisms off of vosh who copied mannerisms off of me so this is a very interesting conversation oh, i'm I sorry mean, because, because you're doing a lot of like literally sick. done this literally like you I actually mean, people did, talk actually we're true. both really americans you know, you know i know just, i know again here's that egotism like, it's got to be you, you. Call, it was you can call it ego, i'm sorry I just, I, i'm sorry destiny i'm so sorry I'm that i a second generation yeah second generation yourself the better version the improved version destiny 3.0 yeah we're here to take you you know, you're you're you've fallen off of the mountain, and the new and the new the neo destinies are taking over. Okay. Shame neo, neo sucks destinies. to be outdone by a newer model, doesn't it? Um, okay, but on. yeah, just saying. Um, the the fact of the matter is that you know there's a difference in platform between you and uh and someone like Cyberwitch Lexi, even between you and Live Posting. First of all, so your ability to direct hate and harassment is actually significantly um more. Also, debating or dunking on each other back and forth in Twitter, I don't generally consider harassment unless it goes beyond um you know certain lines. But uh, what I do consider what I do consider a little bit weird is when like for example in this particular case. Um, Liv makes like a, a random statement about like generally debate people. In fact, literally there's been videos. There's a really popular YouTube video that goes, uh, debate me, debate me, debate me. Everybody knows it. That wasn't made about you. It was made about a bunch of random fucking people who do this shit. But, um, but again, if, even if it was about you, your response to that was to go like all caps level, like boomer tier tweeting in response. So yeah, it's a little, to it's like a little toxic the way that you engage, even with people who disagree with you. And I guess, you know, when it comes down to it, what I would just say is like the way that I determine whether somebody's like um, engaging well on Twitter is like how they engage because debating and disagreeing with people and dunking on one another happens, but it gets really fucking weird when people like yourself, destiny. Um, engage in well-known, um, again, stereotypes, epithets, whatever you want to call them, um, while also, you know, selling yourself to your audience as, like, the, the last social justice warrior or whatever. But you don't give a shit enough to even be careful about your language in that way.
Um, yeah, I can be careful and not use mentally ill. I guess I'll have to find some other way to talk to the like mental oh, derangement I mean, that don't, people wait, have wait, on. This Twitter. is so. This is like. This is that's that's. Come on, you can just say, oh yeah, that was actually pretty shitty of me. Like you don't have to like do this like extreme performative like oh, I'll never say mentally ill again. Like mm -hmm. I mean, I do agree. You should probably check the ableism. It's something the I'm working on myself. It, it, the problem is that all of this is like super performative. Like it is entirely possible. So there was the. Um, I don't remember her name. Angie speaks or whatever. I think I called her a subhuman fuck before. Eesh. Subhuman is a word that I use against yeah, a lot of yeah. people. Mentally ill deranged is words that I use against a lot of people. Okay. It is possible that like, so calling a black person specifically on Twitter subhuman, maybe not the best look because of the types of attacks or maybe calling a trans person like mentally ill, maybe not the best look given like those types of attacks. But like, instead of it being framed as like, hey, these aren't the best words to use. It becomes like, oh, you're attacking trans people online now, blah, 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 blah. Is like, that what I you're said? not actually concerned about like, oh, like maybe there's like a particular word or a different thing that could be better here. Like uh, instead, like it's it's it goes to the most furthest like essential thing that you possibly can. It's like oh, you're actually trans people. person. Hold on, can I please respond to your Wait, point? No, I'm just, I'm just commenting. I don't care what you're gonna say or okay. comment because you're gonna because you're gonna derail it into another argument. I'm not. Okay? I'm not. So I really are, not. Done throughout this entire Wait, Destiny, I, I'm serious. So the Even first though... thing that you said. Okay. So the 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 the, the first thing that you said. Mm -hmm. Is um you know there's a difference in platform between smaller content creators versus you. So my question here is that one, does this mean that I literally can't critique like any smaller person that shits on me? Because there are a lot of smaller content creators that attack me. And believe it or not, cumulatively, these attacks all mount up to be something that's pretty decent. Am I not allowed to go after any single one of those individuals because they happen to become from smaller platforms? Number one, number two, Lyft posting has twice as many followers on Twitter as me. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of silly to be like, oh, you have now do I have a bigger platform on YouTube and, and Twitch? Yeah, sure. But like, what the fuck? On Twitter, where she's attacking me, she has twice as many followers me okay and then the third one wait wait she wasn't attacking on you she other. made a joke about debate bros let's be she clear. has attacked me plenty in okay. the past but that wasn't I'm what happened i'm 99 sure that she has my channel in mind she's making these types of okay. jokes a lot of people that's do. the you ego but all right don't. sure that's the ego okay it is um, there's other people that do the sure. stuff okay. destiny i know then, you don't know about and that and then um and then debating slash dunking on each other back and forth i don't consider that harassment you're literally saying that like well when you attack people you have to be mindful of what happens with their audience what yeah, do you do happens when a bunch of people are tweeting out like oh destiny's transphobic right-wing reactionary blah 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 that's going to lead to harassment so i don't understand how you yeah, think it's could. impossible for me to call them back and call them out and do the exact oh, same thing oh back. wait i mean like like i mean again we're kind of you're kind of smearing together a bunch of different stuff that happened um i don't i've never once said that you don't have the ability to defend yourself against um other like people who criticized or whatever that's like literally such a straw man of my position it sounds like you're not willing to engage with it in good faith um but it's like but but yeah you're totally capable i think anybody should be able to respond but you do have to be mindful when you have an inc like a mass Massive platform advantage over somebody and yeah maybe Liv has some more followers but you know for a fact that your platform's bigger than her don't so even what joke. did i say to lexi that was so unfair then wait what you that, said like, to lexi I... was totally un inexcusable and actually honestly i do think that was transphobic now whether you meant it to what be did or I, not, what did i what oh, did calling I say? her I saying oh i think you're let me let me get the tweet i have it up here let me just uh let me just bring it up real quick i can read you your exact words give me one second Uh, hey, this is your words, by the way, Destiny. Hey, just as an FYI, I legitimately think you have a mental illness and shouldn't subject yourself to online scrutiny and stuff like this. It's pretty clear you're not capable of having any kind of reasonable conversation like this, and you'd probably be healthier, happier offline. I'm sorry, Destiny, I don't know. Wait, your mic just cut out. Wait, really? Yep. Or okay. no, it, you said oh, offline, and then it cut out. Oh, offline? Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm, How I'm, is this transfer? Wait, wait, it, it, listen. Whether okay. you intended it to be or not, it absolutely is. Telling a, a person who's openly trans, who is not only openly trans, but also a creator in your space, um, that they're, oh, I think you're legitimately mental, mentally ill, that all of these sort of stereotypes, that is ridiculous. If you really think that, if you, first of all, and people in your, by the way, your own fans, I've checked this tweet, by the way, your own fans told you this, that if you actually thought that and you weren't just trying to get a cheap dunk, you could have DM'd, you could have said, hey, I'm not going to engage with that person because I think they're mentally ill. What you chose to do is the worst possible way around it. You chose to try and label a, a, a public open trans person who shares your space whether you like them or not as mentally ill and that is fucking shitty that's that that is okay, transphobic. Well, you know that, what it would, it would i'm mean... gonna i'm taking it back i'm taking back the mentally ill slur okay and i don't know why it can only uh i guess be a derogatory slur towards trans people i think it's, that trans people not. and cis people can have forms of mental Wait, illness yes, that they have nothing can. to do this with is, this is this is this is right wing tier come on this is again this literally is so right anti sjw tier. you're you're being literally right you're the you you might be the last anti sjw on the net destiny Maybe that's that's what it might be one. 
Listen, mm-hmm. the thing is, you know as well as I do that context matters when you're making jokes like this. And if you're going to direct that sort of shit with the, the platform that you have against trans people, I think it's fair for people to call you out on that. I think it's totally fair. And I think that your reaction to it is, you know, a little fragile and, and weak. Definitely. I'm the one who's fragile. Here, uh-huh. Yeah, totally. Mm-hmm. You've kind of shown that throughout this engagement. But but for the sure. fact of the matter well, is Here's that, my like, suggestion. Sure. If you are a snowflake and you're going to get super fucking bothered by me responding on Twitter, then not you personally, but mm-hmm. anybody in general, one, there is a block function. Use it. Mm-hmm. And that's all I got for you. Yeah, Easy. yeah, and and also just try to use the block function for the thousands and thousands of mindless drone-like simps that will flood into your mentions, telling you to hang yourself and all that shit too. Remember, First of it's all, not. It's you not do on... not get thousands of responses from people that follow me telling you to hang yourself. It's probably going to be a few. And you know yeah. what? Those should be the funnest responses because if you report things like that, those people will get banned from Twitter. Yeah, so it's just it's them. really shitty though. The thing is, like, like especially if you, um, especially if you actually, like, I mean, I know you've said this lots of times, um, that you say what you actually believe. I don't really buy that. I don't think anyone's 100% honest all the time. I think that's like a thing that you sell when you want to build like a personality thing and a brand and whatever. I think you um, sell, wait, what's the thing that you sell? Oh, you, you like sell like that you're the most honest person who's ever lived. You always speak the truth and, and never do anything wrong. I, like that sort first of, thing. of all, you guys have such this insane character of me. Okay. Well, I'm no, a human I mean, you being li- and I know like, that. I'm not wait, 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 Destiny, no offense, but it's not, it's not just because of, I, I know this isn't just your assertions, but I promise you. I have seen at least four times this morning in the comments, um, people saying, Destiny always is honest on Twitter. Sometimes he's hyperbolic, but he's always honest. And it's like, you okay. saw this as your brain. So earlier <laughs> like, you got upset because I was attacking some strange character of the left. Now you're quoting what fans say about me, trying just to say that saying. that's my opinion of myself. No, no, no I'm just, just saying. saying. I'm just saying what you're just saying is wrong. No, no, what, so what I'm just saying is that, that, you can, some, that you can imply that. I have never in my life said that I am the perfect arbiter of fucking truth and justice. All I said is that I generally try okay. to find the most truth in, in most sure. arguments. That's generally what I do. So if that's, if that's the I've case. I've never said that I'm perfect ever. Sure, sure. If that's the case and you try to engage honestly online and whatever, barring some hyperbole, <laughs> then I think that if you honestly uh, do think that somebody is mental, mentally ill, you definitely should be more careful about your about how your platform could affect that person. And it's as easy as just not quote retweeting them to your fans. Well, if they're, listen, if they're deleting their Twitter accounts, maybe I'm doing the world a better place. Place. Damn, the there world, we go, right back to that, that at the end of the day. Yeah, I, you, you, you you've what? seated because on you know nearly what? every point all that I've those, made here, and yet the conclusion is I'm not going to change anything because I'm all stubborn. All of those mental illness claims I've made, I stand by 100%. If your you life do. is it's being okay. heavily negatively impacted by Twitter, guess what? You should delete it. There is mm-hmm. nothing of value to be gained on the shit wasteland yeah. that is the barren politics and, landscape and, and guess what, landscape of Twitter. And you know what? If you're online and you're like crying or you're distraught because of hate or horrible shit that's coming to you on like social media platforms, you should fucking uninstall and delete that shit. And you're yeah, like, yeah, I agree. No, I agree you with you. Me for it. But guess what, Destiny? I agree with you. I do agree. Um, in fact, I would advise people to I've, I've advised people on my own stream that they should do that. But the reason why Twitter is trash is because of you. Because of people like you, not only you, but people like you and the way that you absolutely, engage with Twitter. Not absolutely, one hundred percent. And even especially, as, true. oh, absolutely. You not open. Wait, wait. Let me just true. remind your audience and mine, all of our mm-hmm. audiences, that you open this by saying that um, you believe that it would be a good thing if these people that you disagree with, these actually. I, and I, I don't know live posting, but I do know Lexi. Lexi's a wonderful person, one of the best faith in people who engages. I don't know what imagination or struggles you've had in the past, but the idea that she deserves to be um, harassed off of Twitter by your simps is fucking stupid, and I will call you out. I think that's bullshit. But you, you've admitted to it, and you don't seem to want to back down off that, even though you've seated the fact that people because with platforms have responded. Wait, wait, wait. I'm not done. Let been... me finish. Oh, of course you're not. Let, let me finish. Yeah, I know. You're annoyed when women talk too much. I get it. It's fine. Um, you're not the only one. Um, it's... Uh, uh, you know, it's one of these things where you've seeded that yes, people with a platform do have some responsibility to what to their communication, the way they go about it. You've seeded the fact that mental mental health um, and mental illness has been weaponized, like almost primarily. That's been almost a primary weaponization against trans people. You've admitted that you engaged in these things, and you've also admitted that you believe that people that you don't like on Twitter should be harassed off of it. And what I would say is, you are about the most. If that's all true and you're not just like like desperately trying to save face or seem cool to your audience right now, um, then what, then you are indeed the emblematic, the paragon of what's wrong with Twitter. So when you say that I say that people that I disagree with should be bullied off, 
I never said that it's people that I disagree with. I think that it's people that are involved, coordinated harassment campaigns, or people that are online on Twitter making constant dog shit takes that are attacking other people constantly. And the online left does this relentlessly. Okay, well, I'm, we're, not talking, about it. we're not, I, we're not I, talking about it. I'm really not even allowed to talk for more than like 20 seconds. Go ahead, sorry. I'm sorry. I apologize. And just Go blubber ahead. all over the... Go like, ahead. calm down, okay? Holy shit, okay? So, <laughs> I, again, you keep repeating the same dumb argument. Yeah, you can... Oh, my God. It really is like watching like a fucking 3.0 version of myself. Jesus. Um, upgrade. So you can upgrade, say... Upgrade, upgrade. Uh, huge down grade very clearly something fucked up in the in the transmission from 2.0 to 3.0 so when you say people that i disagree with should be bullied off so you keep repeating this over and over and over and over again i've never said that i, I understand that like so part of the gish gallop is you have like your four or five arguments and then you repeat them over and over again even though we kind of walk through and try to like that's not a know, gish gallop uh, that's the opposite of, of a gish gallop time. it doesn't seem to work um are you having a lot of fun talking to your stream right no now? i was good. just saying uh, out loud that's say not that, a gish when gallop you say that people you just what I said that, wait, wait, having five points that I stick to and, and I'm consistent with is the opposite of a gish, gish gallop, which you've ceded to those points, by the way. What do you, what do you think a gish gallop is? A gish gallop is when you bounce around from, from random points and have no intention of completing them. I've brought up a couple of very key points. We've stuck on them the entire time and you kept accusing okay. me of gish gallop, but you have no evidence no, of it. So, that, so, okay. So a gish gallop is when you lay out a ton of arguments and you don't give me the chance to actually properly respond to any of them. That's okay. what a gish gallop which is. Which one haven't I let you respond to? <clears throat> on almost anything uh, i see i see anything like, nothing right if you want we can try and have like we haven't even had a conversation right now we really like, have you're just getting we, mad that you're you're just getting mad that someone's like meeting you on your own ground like honestly this isn't my yeah, ground. you're on you're on the hypothetical ground this is wait, we, what you're doing right now is actually i guess how most lefties seem to imagine ah, here we go arguing. again like, there's that phantom actually again. this is actually so phantom. and it's so crazy because i run into this so much with right wingers and, and lefties now where people imagine that like there are certain destiny debate tactics and i know that he does and then when i talk to him i'm going to use it, the same debate tactics he does but i don't wait, you can go through and you can watch any of my debates or any of my conversations. Wait, that's not what I was talking and about. At I all. literally never do any of these. I, I don't know what you're like, talking there about. There might be I was... times in a conversation where I get like a little about? bit heated and maybe I'll talk quickly or whatever. But like I'm almost always like, hey, Wait. you disagree with me? Stop me here. Or hey, if you want to respond to this, sure. Or we can go point by point by point. Destiny. I will do this in every conversation. Destiny. Whereas people wait, 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 Destiny, Destiny, hold on. Before on you go off on screen, another one. So right now I'm doing the same thing that you've done to me this entire conversation. You're losing your mind over it, right? I'm not. So I'm just asking you. I want to finish the point. I'm trying to write down point by point by point, and I actually haven't gotten through a single. Oh time where God. I've written down everything you said and gotten a response to it. You're incredulous right now. Wait, I'm just so saying, you, you were the one who called me Destiny 3.0. Over, over and over again, okay? But like, I literally, I literally have not gotten through a single time oh where I've God. written down your points and gotten to respond through them because you will cut me off at the first one and then we'll run down a whole other like train tracks of railroad. And then at the end of every single time we, we try this, you just repeat those same five points again and I haven't actually gotten to respond to a single like fucking like <sighs> deluge I, of, of commentary that you get. I, I haven't like gotten to do like any of this. You're still ranting um, about what you suppose so, didn't do you so just had a whole bunch of time there, that you could have so done you literally said and you've repeated this point over and over and over again people you disagree with be bullied off that's like your primary objective or whatever blah blah, blah. like when it, the 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 harshest form of this that you seem to be positing is your intentional goal is you go on twitter and you try to make people quit twitter but what i've told you multiple times now and i'll repeat it again although i expect you to ignore it and repeat mm -hmm. your same argument what i've said is that when i go on twitter there are people that i disagree with and i will quote tweet them and i will call them stupid and deranged and whatever the shit if i think they're making stupid or deranged arguments and and if they happen to leave Twitter as a result of that, eh, I'm okay with that. It's not my primary objective, but yeah, I would like to see less people on the platform that are giving deranged or insane fucking takes. Okay. As I imagine you yeah. and every other person that quote tweets people um, and, and does stuff on Twitter like that would agree to, much like how in your very own tweets, you say that your goal is to dunk on people on Twitter, which is directing hate towards somebody and bullying mm. them, whether or not you agree. You can pretend that it's not, but it is. Um, I mean, I don't know. There are some people like Nazis for who I'm certainly welcome. I'm certainly fine with directing some level of hate um, towards. I just, uh, I find it really funny that um, I know you've you've accused me of gish galloping all this random shit and not letting you talk, although you do, you get your opportunity to talk and then you say the same thing. It, it, again, in the framework of this conversation, um, whether or not it's your primary goal, you've openly admitted multiple times in this conversation that that is what you intend to do with a lot of your tweets. And I'm saying that not everybody does that. Um, and uh, even if they do, that doesn't necessarily mean that it's right um, and that what you're doing is right. And also... Um, the other thing that I find really funny is that, like, first of all, I wasn't even referring to, like, debate tactics. I meant literally I'm I'm we're engaging in the same way. We both do the little bit of a little bit of interrupting here and there, a little bit of ranting here and there. We both do that. We're both a little performative in that way. But it was you no, who did accuse me of I'm being. Not, I don't I don't do performative oh, shit. Oh, don't waste oh time come on. Performing. Don't lie. Everybody does. No one on this entire you can talk platform. To anybody you're a streamer. 
You're I do not do performance. Wait, 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 wait. I know that for you guys, this is like oh, a fun exercise for you that you enjoy, like getting on in virtues and whatever. Nothing that I do is performative. Wait a minute. You're a streamer, Destiny. Listen, I also am very bombastic IRL, incredibly bombastic IRL. Just because I'm perform because you're performative IRL or that's your standard doesn't mean that it's not performativity. All streamers are performative. It's just a fact of the matter. And we're it's both. Not a fact of the matter, but go it ahead. is absolutely. You're a streamer, Destiny. My God, you're a showman. That's what you do for a living. Don't lie to your audience. This streamer is like means I turn the camera this on like and I capture what I do. This Some is like. Are wait a minute. Are you I'm like? Not. I will stand by every single thing I say to the death. I'm the same way in real life. Yeah, in yeah. DMs, oh, me too. Off stream, on stream. Oh, absolutely. In Discord. Me too. But nonetheless, I can acknowledge that being on stream, there is always going to be some performativity. Are you really telling me that like? Uh, oh, like that you uh, live your life with like a like a like a like a fucking uh, focal point, you know, behind you five feet with purple lighting. Like, come on, there's all there's always an element of, of theater to anything that's done online. Actually, I really like what? the lighting here. Sometimes yeah, yeah, the LC or MDMA, and I really like the way the lights look. Actually, it's not actually pretty cool. But sounds, go ahead. Sounds actually based as shit. You can. I don't. Um, I, I like also real quick. I like what you just did there, where yeah. when you said performative originally, that's yeah. usually an attack on character, no, and then well, you tried yeah, to back that up in terms of like, oh, right. well, you have a setup in the no, back no, no, to look no, good no, on camera. God. That's not what performative means. That's not how it's ever perceived. Wait, but that was cute. That actually, little switch that you played there. Wait, hold on. Like, I mean, you're getting like. I think you're getting a little um like defensive over certain terms i don't say performative as a pejorative i was literally just using it as a a description of what we're doing here we are on a stream so it's interesting because earlier you attacked me because you said that mental <sighs> illness is oftentimes something that people use to attack trans people in order to call them into question their sanity just because they're trans and then you just use the word performative against me which is something that's often said towards streamers to imply that they don't actually believe <laughs> oh, oh, wait, about. are you but literally now you're saying that when you use performative against me you didn't streamer phobia way, you didn't take into account the intentions of your streamer words. phobia Ill, you can't destiny account, come on this is pathetic I think that's very funny, streamer ahead. phobia are you really pulling out the yeah i know you're grinning because you know that's a bullshit argument streamer no, no, fucking that, phobia is exactly analogous <laughs> streamer phobia steve Jesus really, really, really Christ. Really funny. come on funny. like that's ridiculous and you know that's not the same you know that if this was a conversation in any enough, other way must be true. yeah i mean it is true you know that's not fucking you know those aren't you keep saying that i know no yeah. and then you have to say i've heard you say this in the past against an argument with sargon destiny say that one again Wait, this i really good i literally have any argument a lot I, I don't know if you're like caught in the first five minutes of this conversation, mm -hmm. but we've been talking for quite a while. And I know I know it can be hard to like keep these things when you when you know you do, you do them a lot. So I get it's it. like every bad debate thing I ever say is like filtered down. Like you must be getting mad right now. Like I know. Oh, I can see that green or whatever. Blah, Damn. Blah, blah. Like it, it must funny, suck. I remember, like back in twenty sixteen. It must suck to be confronted with what you've created, isn't it, Destiny? The Destiny three point oh is is just crunching you right now with your listen. It's really funny because like it's it, this whole thing. This really whole funny. like wait wait wait. This whole this whole tangent was because you got really offended because I said something about like. Uh, about like um that i'm meeting you on the same ground and you took that to mean like oh I, i'm uh, something about your debate tactics i literally never brought up your debate tactics you are the only person who's alleged that i'm like a a third generation destiny in this conversation which sure all right uh by the way if we're going to be third generation destiny please like and subscribe to my channel that, that way i can be as big as the original destiny that'd be great third de third generation destiny on the way um, but yeah, uh, I don't know, dude. Like, it seems like, uh, you've basically tried to throw out every defense you possibly can for, like, basically being a shithead on Twitter and doing mm -hmm. some really, like, terrible stuff that I don't think you would, um, I don't think, th I think that you would criticize other people for doing this exact thing. And again, um, as all of the points, which you seated whether you want to say that you didn't or not let's just we can watch the vod again together if we want to um, well, sure let's go so i'm curious because i wrote yeah, this sure. down let's talk about this point exactly because you keep and i said sure, you're sure. bringing it up after correcting you on it again okay said, okay what is have, this thing so you said you've openly admitted multiple times that this is what you intend to do that i intend mm -hmm. to bully people off of twitter yes so if my intention like not as a side effect or a byproduct of what i do my mm -hmm. intention was to bully people off of twitter you admit that I could be far more effective at doing that, right? Oh, I do agree. I, you could be, yes. I could coordinate that's harassment not campaigns and oh, shit off yeah. of alternate accounts. I could do sure. crazy shit. Yeah, so, but that's not like incompetence isn't a defense. You Do you really think that no, no, somebody like listen, me wait. is not bullying? Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. You, you just claimed that I was using incompetence. You don't think that it might be that I actually just have a desire to engage in a different type of behavior? You really think the reason why I haven't bullied some people on the internet is because I'm incompetent at it? I mean, I don't know. Well, that's what you were. That's the well, defense. Well, you said you that you don't. Wait, you wait, can't wait, say wait, I don't let know. Let me answer the question, Destiny. Let me answer the question. You literally just said that your incompetent is in an excuse or defense. Let me answer the question. Destiny. I'm planning incompetence. I have yeah. to answer the question that you ask if you actually want to find out the Okay, answer. yeah, go okay. for it. Well, I'm so, just trying to hold you to what you say. I mean, I I am. The the This conversation was opened with you saying that you um are 
and I don't remember the ex the exact wording here. And I'm trying mm -hmm. to be, I'm trying to meet you at your mm -hmm. own. I'm not trying to fucking bad faith you. I really want to understand what we're going here. Not. I mean, no, I came on your show and I'm engaging with you. Like, you know, like I'm talking engaging. with you. Engaging, yeah, something yeah, like that. Okay, yeah. I mean, sure, maybe you're real mad about it and whatnot, but um, you're calling me a snowflake and fragile. That was working really well today. Yeah. I mean, it, it seems to be. You, you seem a little, little. You're doing the smile thing that Vosh does. And wait, wait, also... smiling? <laughs> Destiny invented like, smiling too. Like, so wait, what are we at now that you invented? You've invented the smiling. You've invented okay, buddy. You invented debate. Now that I'm like, now that I'm looking for the mannerisms, it's like fucking Socrates, Steve, inventing philosophy it. and thinking okay. and talking. Keep going, keep going. Keep oh, going. you're using that language thing? Oh my god, that's my thing. I d I invented the language. I use language to communicate. Oh my no, god. No, no. Okay. Anyway, the point is, let me let me answer your question now that we've you know got off on this. The fact of the matter is, you were the one who opened this conversation, saying that um, you're perfectly fine with people being harassed off the platform. That you're that that yeah, you're you're totally fine with directing um, hate and harassment towards people if they're a piece of shit. And my argument is that um, you know is that uh, okay. I'm glad that you've admitted to that. Um, I don't know what your intent is, but I know what your outcome is, and your outcome. Wait, you you, you realize that you agreed with that last point, right? That it's okay what? to direct hate and harassment to people on the platform if you think they're a piece of shit, right? Um, I think within reason, yeah. Like I think somebody like a so Nazi. So, wait, wait, so, hold yeah, on. You said that earlier. There are yeah. some people like Nazis who are yeah, yeah. fine directing levels of hate towards. So certain levels, so yeah. You, you can't attack me with that point when it's something that you agree with. You just levied that as an attack on me. So you well, said wait, I, I, I'm fine wait. with people. You said you said that. Well, Destin, you said that you're fine with people being harassed off the platform. That you're fine directing hate and harassment towards people mm -hmm. on the platform if they're a piece of shit. Yeah, you agree with those points. So you can't attack me with those. Well, you wait, need to wait, be a little I bit more specific because, in your um, criticism because yeah. you agree with both of those points. Except I kind of can because the thing of the fact of the matter is that. Um, first of all, like, uh, I would argue that if, um, like, I mean, obviously, there's, there's obviously people who we believe should be um, taken off of platforms. Like, I think anyone, I don't think anybody would not agree with that to some extent. But we have to determine what those extremes are. And your oh. extreme is apparently... I, I don't know. It seems like it's just uh, you're willing to use transphobic hate to drive people off the platform who mildly disagree with you. And when it comes to Lexi, when I've asked you about Lexi or when I've asked you about Lived, you've said, oh, they've you've vaguely gestured to them participating in some kind of hate campaign or whatever. What it sounds like to me is that you take any criticism of you or any disagreement with you as like a personal attack that's trying to dis disassemble your massive brand that out like like massively outsizes these people. But then you're totally willing to just obliterate them with your simps and not think twice about it and not think that you're responsible while all the while. And again, this is the, the only argument I've been presenting to you. You know, it has multiple parts, but it is the only argument I've been making all the while claiming to be the last SJW on the internet and some so sort of social I'm justice curious, warrior. If I would use any other term besides mentally ill are you all of a sudden perfectly okay with all of my behavior on twitter because you're very fixated on no that expression. um no i'm not um but 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 this is just the examples that were most prevalent these are the ones most recently that well no this is the wait, no, wait. no no this is not this is not just the example that's most prevalent this has been like a linchpin to your argument you're literally yeah, 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 over absolutely. and over again saying like this is like well, uh, well, conservatives use mentally ill to attack trans people yeah, it's not do. just a random point you're very fixated on this i expression. mean of course yeah because that's the one we're talking about i'm talking about how you use okay. it wait wait wait, wait. What, okay what so you, i got you so, what are you so, okay you you're doing the thing okay so what do you you said, so wait, wait. You said that like this is just what I'm using. It's just one example. And I said, well, yes. no, it's a very important example. It's not just a random example. It's important. You're like, oh yeah, well, of course it's a very important one. Yeah. Well, okay, but now you just contradict. Oh, okay, okay, wait, wait. So it's on. not wait, just wait, a random question. argument that you're using. Clarifying this particular question. expression is a very important. Clarifying question. I just want to understand when you say, "Am I okay with what you're doing on Twitter?" What do you mean? What do you mean by that? Do you uh, mean in terms you think of like if I see people that I will vaguely refer to as lefties that consistently bully and harass and demean my takes and quote my stream and do all sorts of shit or whatever, is it okay for me to call them out and to, you know, talk shit to them and call them stupid oh, yeah, and all totally. that shit on Twitter as well? Of course, absolutely. I have no so problem then, with that. Wait, I do that too. Question. Sure. So then yeah. back to my original But what question. I don't do? If I, to, if, I, if I were to redirect all of my mean and horrible comments, blah, 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 but I just didn't use the expression mentally ill, would you be okay with what I do then? Um... Oh, I mean, when you say what you do, I mean, I guess here's the thing, because like, that's a really, that's like a broad for like, you're, you're taking like a broad conclusion from a specific example. But in this case, yeah, if you weren't, if you hadn't, if you had been mad at um, Cyber Witch Lexi's take, and you hadn't gone in really hard on calling her like a mentally ill person who should leave the internet and all this shit. Um, yeah, you know, I think that you probably would have been able to have a much more, in my opinion, not only a much more responsible, but a much more effective engagement. I think your um, unwillingness to like, uh, surpass you know, both ableism, but also transphobia in this case, these, these transphobic stereotypes, whether you intended it or not, um, is, is the big, is the biggest problem. And I think that is a real problem. I think it's a problem so in communication for that, this. Sure. 
Let so me, this me, entire conversation boils down to you being upset that I used the expression mentally no. ill. If I hadn't said no. that, you'd be okay with anything oh, else? Oh, I mean, I mean, uh, it, it is a little, it is a little upsetting. Um, but it's upsetting in the same way that I would be um, mad at somebody like using racial epithets. Same way you have presumably been mad at people being racist um, in the past. The same way you've criticized people for being disgusting racist in the past. Okay, well, I would. You don't need to quote my own. Well, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. You know, when we're in this conversation and we're talking about this, we're talking about your consistency. Asking, it's what very, I'm disagreeing very, with you. I'm, I'm just asking a very simple question. So yes. I wouldn't have used the expression mentally ill. Would mm -hmm. you be like, oh, Destiny's totally fine at what he's doing on Twitter? I mean, I mean, I would have other problems. I mean, I think you're, I think you're a dick, and the way that you engage with people on Twitter is like really unproductive. But other than that, I don't think you're like doing anything morally wrong. What I think that you're doing morally wrong is when you, um, when you lean on, um, on well, like again, well known, um, like stereotypes and and this, this, like again, it's directing hate, and that is different. There is a big difference between just disagreeing with somebody, calling someone an, a name or whatever, and specifically, um, not just like. Not just even saying it to them, but also quote retweeting them so that your followers can get on it and saying this person should not be on the internet. That that does have an effect. We we can't. And, hey, and wait, I, hold on. So do you think and, it's bad for me to quote retweet and say like this person doesn't belong on Twitter? Um, well, because maybe you, not that. Okay, you know? so as part of a gish gallop, you keep using all these arguments, but I don't think you it's actually. It's not a gish gallop. There's no, there's yeah, no gish wait, galloping wait. going on here so, at all. So let me explain what a, what a gish gallop is. So a gish gallop is when you lay out bad argument after bad argument after bad argument, but if you lay out enough of them sequentially, it appears as though you're making a legitimate I argument. I haven't. So done my that. problem. You've well, you've literally okay. seeded most of my arguments here, Destiny. So you literally have that... watched the vod again. Oh, everybody can go watch the vod. Please so do. I just keep asking you. Is it okay if I engage in the behavior that I engage in if I just don't say the word mentally ill? Is and it, now you keep vaguely saying like, oh, well, yeah, but there's wait, 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 let me, like, wait, wait, wait. And then you say things like, oh, like, I don't like it when you quote wait, retweet wait, people. Are you going to let me answer or are you going to pretend to do an impersonation you, of me? I'm asking you very specifically. Yeah, if I okay. quote retweet somebody and say this person doesn't belong on Twitter, is that a behavior that I shouldn't engage in? Is if that a bad thing? If you quote retweet somebody and say they shouldn't belong on Twitter, and you're aware that that is going to likely influence your audience and you feel you've done the due diligence, I think there's a space for that to happen. But what I don't think is okay is I don't think that um, doing that same behavior and tying in um, extremely obvious, um, what I would argue are hate hate dog whistles, if not just outright hate, Those that is not okay. And the reason is because when you retweet somebody and say, this person's dumb or whatever, then the most that somebody's going to get is like, oh, you're dumb. And you might get some annoying simps and whatever. But I can tell you, again, firsthand, and I know you know this part, Destiny, but getting hate, getting like racists and transphobes in your comments and also getting the signal from the streamer, intentionally or otherwise, that that's okay is a big difference. It's not just being called dumb. It's being targeted for your intrinsic traits. It's what leads to the horrific mental health uh, situation that trans people find themselves in in this country. That type of behavior. And okay, and so, yes. A really yeah. good speech. I understand. So Wait, you asked me a question, Destiny. My God. Yeah, so what I did was I asked you a question on if it's okay for me to retweet and quote tweet somebody. Yeah. And I'm sorry, I'm just enjoying. Okay. Sure. I asked if it's okay if I retweet and quote tweet somebody. If it's okay for me to bully them if I don't say mentally ill. And your response to that was, well, my problem is when you do it, when you call them mentally ill. So I'm very specifically, so I'm going to try one more time because I've had to ask a lot of these questions like four or five okay, or six times. Yeah, so I'm going to try okay. to ask one more time. I'm going to say, is it okay if I retweet somebody and say, this guy's a fucking moron um, or this person's a fucking moron. They don't belong on fucking Twitter. Like, fuck this person. Is it okay if I retweet somebody and I quote that, even if they're yeah, trans I mean, or even if they're a lefty or a black person or a white person or a gamer or whatever? I mean, I'd argue it's it's uh, it's like shitty and kind of- I'm asking wait, if it's wait, mean or wait, shitty. Wait, let me like, answer, like, Destiny. I think it's mean, I think it's shitty, I think it's bad, but I don't think it's like morally wrong in a in a larger scale, nor do I think it's like particularly politically harmful. So yeah, there's I mean I've answered this already like three times, but apparently it's not good enough. But what does matter is when you then do you that. keep doing this because now you're gonna do wait, this again. Well, yes. What does matter is when you call wait, them mentally. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Yeah. Yes. Already wait. But I'm yes. asking you aside from that. Yeah, but I'm asking you aside from that. So then Do I think that my... like directing hate in general is bad? I mean, I don't know. Like wait, I... but you don't think directing hate in general is bad because you literally said you're okay directing levels of hate towards Nazis. You don't think that that's bad intrinsically. No, I don't think it's bad intrinsically. I don't think so it's, of course not. Of course context matters. Yeah, is it just bad when I do it against people that you agree with? No. I no, wh why, wait, what do you mean? Bad. What are you talking about? 
you said that it's bad to direct hate towards people, but then you also said it's okay to direct hate towards people. I don't know how you actually feel about that. No, no, wait. What I'm saying is that I think there are circumstances in which directing hate against somebody can be incredibly harmful. Like, I don't know. Are you, is this like a- Hold on. You, you don't, but you don't think that's always bad, do you? If I direct no, hate I towards don't. Nick Fuentes and it's harmful no, to him- likewise, wait bad? a minute. Hold on a second. Do you think that it's bad for, like, justice to be done and someone to go to prison? Um... I don't know. Wait, answer just answer the question. the question, Destiny. It's simple. Do you think I, it's bad for, for me? The answer is yes, but that's okay. because I don't think that justice should be. I think it should be rehabilitated, should be rehabilitated. Not like retribution okay. or well, whatever. So that's okay, not if a... that's the case, I mean that's a bigger thing. Yes. Yeah, so, but do you a, think? Yeah. Do you think then that let's bar let's let's say in our current system, barring mm -hmm. I because I also do agree that retrib like retributive mm -hmm. justice is not good. But do you think it's a good thing when like someone goes to prison for a crime? Within the convite, was there a current system? And all, and all yeah, yes. Okay, yes. What if that person is innocent? Do you then yeah, think it's probably good? Probably not. Ah, so the context does indeed matter. Likewise, when we're talking about hate, the context matters. And I would argue that you directing hate against random people that you disagree with, um, and also, again, leaning very strongly into extremely hateful and objectively harmful um, stereotypes um, that, again, you have never contested that. Appreciate you not trying to contest that and going full right wing or whatever. Um, but yeah, you doing that is a bad outcome. It's exactly like, it would be like, uh, again, it would be like sending an innocent person to prison. If you subject- so yeah. Yes, so your yeah. analogy is apt, okay? Mm -hmm. The problem is that you came onto my stream and you essentially said directing hate towards people is bad. Much the same way that somebody might say sending people to prison is good. And actually, then what I would ask, is, and I would say, well, hold, that, you're actually, you're taking my argument. So mm, let, me, let me explain this very no, carefully. Yep. No. So you said, no. Destiny, do you think that sending people to prison is good or bad, right? And generally, you know, I would say, oh, it's probably good if you send someone to prison. Like, well, what if they were innocent? Oh, well, I guess in that case, it's bad. Mm -hmm. So really the original statement, sending somebody to prison is good, doesn't hold up. Really the statement is guilty people should be sent to prison. Now you've come onto my stream mm -hmm. and you've said directing hate towards people is bad. Did but I make I'm that argument? One, yes. I don't think I did. I think you I said, I think the... did. it was in, I wrote it down like four times earlier. Maybe. Than five, right? Earlier you said I mean, directing hate did, towards though. people on Twitter is bad. I think and I specifically I, said directing what, hate against. This is why, this is why I have asked you I said, do you think directing hate towards Nazis is bad? Mm -hmm. And you said, oh, well, no, I guess like some people can be hated on the internet. So now well, what both honestly. of us have established, yeah. one through your analogy of is sending people to prison bad? Mm -hmm. Well, we don't know. We need to ask more questions. And then two, is directing hate towards people on Twitter bad? Well, I don't know. We need to ask more questions. Because mm -hmm. when you came in here, your original hardline stance was anytime you do anything no, that, that contributes good. to that's harassment or bullying no, that's or hatred of people on yeah. the internet, on Twitter, that it's a bad thing. That we was can watch the point. VOD, but that now, was not my wanna, original point. My original, actually, in fact, I know... I know for a fact, and I can tell you this, that first of all, I know my points obviously better than you do, but but that's fine. I know that this is not the case and anybody can, anybody who's not convinced in the audience, uh, just so you know, like my entire point coming in here was because I was pissed off that you've been, you know, directing a lot of hate towards trans people in specific. And that is something that I have a problem with. And you've been directing transphobic hate at those people. That's the problem. And that's exactly what I've been talking about this entire time. I never, I don't think I ever once here, maybe, maybe I like unintentionally made, like made some argument, but I don't know, maybe I did. Maybe I said something like that wrong. I'd be willing to cede on that particular point. So um, you, wait, 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 sure. hold, I'm finishing, I'm finishing. I would be willing to cede on the, like if, I, if at some point I implicated that like directing any hate ever in any circumstance is bad. I don't think that's the case because I seem to recall a bit earlier in this conversation saying like, oh no, I think there's cases where directing hate is justified pretty openly. I don't think my argument was ever this. I think that's like what you want it to be. But the fact of the matter is that. Fuck. Hold on. Fuck. Give me one second. Okay. On. Take your time. Hey, DGG. How's it going? You doing okay? Come hang out on demonmama.com forward slash live. I promise you'll have a good time. I'm not a bad person. I'm not a crazy person. I know you might think I am, but you'll have a good time. Come hang out. One second. Um, hold on. I'll be back. One second. Or I'll be right down there. Bye. I need to run downstairs real quick. One second. Yeah, sure. I'll, I'll keep the stream entertained. Hello, everyone. Can can DGG hear me? Can anyone confirm whether DGG can actually hear me at this point? I'll talk to you guys. I promise you, I do engage in good faith. People try to make it out like I'm not, but yeah, okay. Hey, everyone. My name is Demon Mama, for those of you who don't know. I'm pretty cool. I'm a political edutainer. I'm a lefty. Talk about all kinds of stuff. You all can come in and, um, and debate me if you want to. I do a lot of debates. I do a lot of conversations. We talk about a lot of stuff. 
I promise I'm not as scary as I seem. I am Demon Mama. Some people are scared of demons. You can also follow me on YouTube. I have a whole bunch of videos. I even have a video where I talk about Peter Coffin and Destiny and how both of them are kind of wrong about BreadTube. That's all right. I hope Destiny's all right. I got misgendered by a poll in DGG. That's not very nice, DGG. That's kind of shitty. That's kind of shitty. Probably shouldn't do that. It's not very nice. Not only is it not very nice, I'd actually argue it goes against probably most of the principles. Um, yeah, it's true. I am I am white. I am white passing. That's true. I don't really feel particularly attached to my whiteness. Um, I think whiteness is a, a silly construct um, that changes definition whenever it's convenient, um, you know, for the political establishment to determine who can be, you know, kicked out and whatnot. Yeah. Well, I hope I hope I hope they fix it. It's all right. Listen, I'm a, I understand if people make a mistake, that's one thing. The deliberate stuff is a little bit worse. The mistake is fine. Hey, listen. It's all good. I've I've had a good yeah, Socrates Steve. Yeah. You like that one, guys? Listen, I have had a good conversation one way or another. Um I think I've made my point pretty well, but I'm I'm interested to finish this off with uh, Destiny because this has certainly been interesting. I will say, I do like Destiny's lighting. His lighting situation is wonderful, actually. Yeah. Well, it's a much bigger... I mean, keep in mind, my, my chat's uh, contending whether the, the demonmama.com website uh, chat is better or DGG. I don't know. I think, uh, I think DGG's a lot bigger, so, yeah. He got like 400 mentions about skateboards. Oh, I saw that. I know. I've had a million pings. I don't even know. I know. Destiny invented finishing things off. Welcome back. Okay, sorry. Hey. Um, okay. If you would have come in here originally, mm -hmm. and your argument would have been, hey, you call mentally ill people, or you call trans people online mentally ill people. Yeah. It's kind of transphobic. Yeah, that was my argument, though. That really was. Like, if you that go back and watch it, I think it absolutely was not um, your argument. Pretty sure it was. Yeah. You made a much broader argument okay. that made it seem as though I literally can't attack trans people, period. Or that mm, all of my behavior on Twitter that. is toxic and horrible. Nah. If your original claim is you come on. I mean, I do say, think oh. your 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 behavior on Twitter is pretty toxic and horrible, but I don't know that it's necessarily like I, I wouldn't uh, I wouldn't say you that. You just said it again. So yeah, what yeah. behavior of mine on Twitter is toxic and horrible outside of um, saying mentally ill? The, the, the directing hate to people who don't deserve it, uh, usually along the lines of uh, gender and or sex. Yeah, that's the part that I disagree with. And you have done this multiple times. Again, um I think the uh I think the live posting one was a little bit um a little bit more okay, uh, I just want to be wait, yeah. okay, I'm going to let you finish this, but just to be very clear. Sure. So sure. initially I said you should have a if you would have had a more pointed claim, then it, mm -hmm. I, then it would have been very strong. Yeah. You shouldn't use mentally ill towards, but now and I and you just said, well that was my initial claim. Yeah, yeah, my initial But now you're was... saying, well actually it's about you directing hate towards people and deserve it on the basis wait. of gender or sex. Wait, wait, wait. I'm sorry. Wait, is not is not directing hate on the basis of gender and sex using using uh known stereotypes to target people and direct hate based on that thing? Is that not exactly what you just said? Just slightly reworded. I, I think that transphobic insults are a bit different than like on the basis of gender or sex. Wait, wait, that, but I think we we were talking about both of them, and I think there's examples of both. I think the okay, live posting. What other, what other examples are there? Yeah, I mean, I think this one's a little bit uh, lower key, but nonetheless, something that is encountered all the time. I'm very confident in in saying that the uh, calling, um, ca like implying that women who are disagreeing with you are like shrieking hysterical people, like you did in your all caps tweet, uh, saying that like, oh, live posting is screeching onto the internet, sh like shrilly. You keep saying shrieking, but it was yeah, you did you screeching. did say that right? Sh shrieking was that the word or sh or? I think I said screeching. Screeching, whatever. I mean, it's the same thing. Like, the Banshee thing is literally... Like, I, I'm not even kidding you, Destiny. Like, here's the thing. I, I, I frequently... Uh, I don't go... think I ever said Banshee either. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I'm just... I'm just... Uh, maybe you didn't use that exact word, but the um, but the, uh, the, the, the stereotype is exactly the same. You, you could have just said... You could have just made that exact tweet saying hysterical would have been identical. Calling calling women, like, a shrieking um, person and, like, implying them that they oh, all they do... I didn't do... say wait, wait, shrieking. Wait. I said screeching. Screeching. Oh, my God. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Sorry, I didn't mean well, to. But get like, it wrong. you're like throwing a million other words. No, I'm here. not. I'm showing. I'm. Sh I'm. I'm. 
illustrating very specifically that this, that um, calling women screeching, shrieking, hysterical, all of these things are exactly the same. It's literally a, stereo, a misogynistic stereotype. And I know you know this again, um, that this is a stereotype that's been used all the time. Uh, I've been on like three or four uh, femme, femme presenting panels hosted by the wonderful Prime Kais. You probably know Prime Kais. in which we talk about this and how frequent it is that femme presenting people online get told that they're shrieking shrill. It happens to me all the time. So much so that my community made a bingo card and that's one of the bingo card options because it t yeah, I get told all the time that I'm some, no matter what, no matter how calm I am, I'm some shrill shrieking banshee. And you're engaging in that. And I'm saying that you're doing that. And you know, maybe you don't mean to. I've never said that you intended to. Obviously, I can never know somebody's inten intentions, but you are nonetheless doing it. So yeah, that is the that is what I came in here to talk about. That was the point that I made originally. Um, I mean, I think that if you're asking me now, like, and, and Wait, so just to, to be razor focus here. So sure, your sure. problems with me are that I've used the words screeching and mentally ill. Those are your well, problems. No, those but aren't the exact. Save, those, save those two words or mm -hmm. expressions. If instead of screeching, could I have said? Can you, can you go ahead and get, so here's a sentence. Mm -hmm. You're screeching stupid shit on a public media platform. Mm -hmm. What would you say instead? Give me a, give me a hypothetical alternative sentence. Oh, so next time when I criticize someone, I'll use this. Just say like putting out bad takes. You're always putting out bad takes. Just anything you could do. Why do you have to, why do you, why would you have to, um, or why would you choose? Maybe you didn't choose it. Maybe it was unintentional, but why would you, why would you act on those obvious, very clear, historically, ob like historical fact, misogynistic, and in the other we're case, we're not acting on a misogyny. The well, thing that we're you acting are, on though. is the stereotype of a person being online, screaming and screeching mm. online about things. Yeah, but that's, that's this is a context thing, though. And you know that if you're web, if you're using it against somebody who's femme presenting, which is pretty obvious, and also you know Liv, so I know that you you know who they are. You're adding a context. Maybe you didn't intend to, but nonetheless, you're adding a context that is very real. And I know, again, I know you know this because you've argued against misogynists in the past. And you've argued that it's bullshit when people do this kind of stuff. Usually when I argue against people, it's in a very broad context of statements they've made. I will never, ever attack somebody for using one word. Oh, well, it's you not about saying, one word. You keep, it is. No, it, it isn't is literally, about one word. This whole no, this, conversation no, 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 the is about example two expressions is one that word. I've used. The example is one word. I'm not going to, you want me to comb through your social media and find every you tweet? You don't have to comb through, but yeah. I don't think in general no, we're talking I'm very about... sexist or misogynistic or transphobic when I insult people. It's just not... I just, these just usually aren't characteristics well, that I'm like interested in attacking. Maybe. I mean, the Especially mentally. Especially when it comes to lefties online. Maybe. It's usually I'm criticizing them for being fucking morons, for being mm -hmm. deranged or mentally ill, or mm -hmm. for like being terminally white and online. Like these are the things maybe. that I tend to hit on. Not like you're women. <laughs> Ter or you're terminally, you're a woman. terminally white and online. Damn, Destiny. Bit of a bit of a self bit of a self own there. But uh, yeah, I mean, the, the difference is that I tend to align more with like persons of color and real life mm -hmm. political opinions, Maybe. not the terminally online, terminally white, terminally suburban kids that exist uh, on Twitter. I don't know. There, there sure. we go again. You with your, like, like, there's your phantom, your 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 boogeyman of the, of what you think the left is online. Which again, I'm not boogeymaning anything. There's like, yeah. wait, do you think that online people tend to be more white, more suburban, more wealthy? Um, and then people I guess in real it depends life. on your circles that you go in. Like, I don't think you can make. Well, I'm not I feel talking like... about particular circles. Yeah, yeah I'm no. I'm talking about on online, online on Twitter in general. in general. Do you think that online in general on Twitter, that audience mm. is probably a bit more white, a bit more wealthy, a bit more? No, not in general. I mean, I you, think there's. Do you think that the wait, people wait. on Twitter? Hold on, no, 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 wait. Hold, I don't want you to weasel because you keep wait, wait, weaseling. You, okay. I, I, do you what think do you mean that I'm Twitter, weaseling? I'm answering your question, dude. No, no, no. You're not. You're gonna derail in a sentence. No, I'm not. Have, I literally sentence. am not going. to. You think okay. that Twitter is accurately or honestly an, an accurate cross section uh, of like the average American population? You think that Twitter is? Twitter is way bigger than the American population. What are you talking about? This is a meaningless question. Twitter is huge. Do you know how many people use Twitter? There's, there's no way that you can get a cross section. I don't even think you have the argument to make that the argument that you're well, trying I have to because of the polling data is out there you it's don't really have the to data to say anything about what twitter is twitter is way too big to make a, a, a single general like, how many chinese people are on twitter you try to tell me they're all white and suburban what are you fuck you talking about twitter is a global platform are you fucking kidding me this is del again delusion you're you're telling yourself something that doesn't reflect reality you can't generalize that broadly and make a meaningful statement out of it yeah if you want to say like do i think that lefty like so Let here is a Pew Research poll okay. right here. And if mm -hmm. you want, you can go ahead and scroll down mm -hmm. on this. Sure. 
And what you'll see here is Twitter users are younger, more educated, mm -hmm. and more likely to be Democrats okay. than the general public. If we look sure. at like college graduates, we see 42% of Twitter users versus 31% of the average US adult is, is likely to be a college graduate. We see that they're wealthier. They're highly represented at the 75,000 plus range. We see that they are... Uh, a little bit even, um, oh, I guess not necessarily terminally white. We see the black and Hispanic numbers are, are similar, though. Lots Damn. of young Hispanic people in the United States. Yeah. But so, yeah, we do have polling data on this, and they tend to be much younger as well. The yeah, how long, 49 when, when and the 18 through 29 data, data like, are massively but, overrepresented. Yeah, there's just a lot, of, there's a lot of things that go into that. I feel like you're kind of trying to weaponize a single poll in order to try and make it like seem like Twitter is all a bunch I'm of not like, rich to white people, which is another poll. thing you I've heard you do a lot. I'm not, like, I'm not trying to weaponize well, I mean, it. It does sound poll. like that, though, because you know that, like, first of all, like, I mean, literally. No, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, come so on. common common sense, like very clearly sides, and I hate to cite common sense. Oh but like, come! Oh, this is you oh, you're using, really doing it? Come on, that's ridiculous. Thing again, where you're doing the really what? So, Wait, saying really is a Vosh thing? This is hilarious. Oh, you have a thing with like Vosh, don't you? All these mannerisms didn't originate with me. That's funny. But so common sense tells us that if you're using Twitter a lot, common there's sense, a good chance Andy. that you're somebody that has access to a cell phone, access to an internet oh, connection, um, the free and luxurious time to follow like internet politics and shit. These people are going to come from certain socio-demographic mm. sectors of, of society. It's pretty mm. obvious. You'd have to be pretty crazy uh, to, no, to think, think that there are like, that there are like gangsters that like between doing whatever the fuck they're taking their well, phone excuse out. Excuse me? <laughs> what? Are you okay? Yeah, what are you talking about now? Gangsters? That, that, yeah, that there are like like people, obviously people in different <laughs> sects of life are going to be more, or that people that are working down at like freight harbors or people that are coming home from the fucking factory are getting onto fucking Twitter to argue with people online. Well, listen, um, certain I, sectors I, of, of society I are like pretty know. obvious. Like, I, here's Man, the thing. Do you, wait, wait, do you really have trouble understanding this? Wait, I mean, again, your citation is common sense here, and I don't think that's common sense. The internet access worldwide is like is broader than gotcha. it's ever been. Okay. Sure. Wait, wait, okay, really I just is. want to hear you say that then. I just, I, and then we'll move on from this. You can say whatever you want. So sure. you honestly believe that every person in society is about as likely to be arguing about online politics or on no, Twitter you, arguing you've with people the as any other person. You've literally changed the goalposts. No, this, that's wait, 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 wait. No, okay, you've, you've also, had a lot China of time. Also, literally now. has banned you've, Twitter. So you've had a, a lot of time. Ahead. It's my turn to be able to respond to the um, unbelievable amount of gish galloping that you've actually done here, which is that, and and uh, goalpost changing, which is that, first of all, you said, oh, do you think that Twitter is representative of the America of the average American person? And I said, oh, well, Twitter, that seems like a way too broad of a statement to make it seems like there's a lot of subsections of twitter and twitter usage is pretty broad in america now is there probably some bias towards people who are more likely yeah i think that's fair i think there's some like sort of common sense gut feeling truthiness that you could uh you could like reach into and do the you know the what's it called the the country like yeah i got a good feeling about it a hunch yeah i think that's fair to say to a certain degree but i don't know how broad that is and i don't know how much things have changed in like recent years with um how much internet access has expanded across the country now if you're going to talk about like how many people like what types of people are involved in like lefty debate online if you want to be specific about it which you weren't before but if we want to be now, um, yeah, I think that lefty lefty conversations online do have a uh, a tendency um, towards being predominantly white, well off, cis, um, and suburban. And and well, then we don't even like disagree. Yeah, we don't disagree on that part at all. Um, but again, um, the way that again to tie this back to what actually matters here, what we were here to talk about. The way that you've engaged in these particular examples solidifies mm -hmm. that further, makes it more toxic and harder for people who aren't straight, white, cis, and suburban to be online because of the aforementioned directed hate, which I know you don't contest that. Um, so, yeah. I'm not talking about the directed hate. Yeah. I was just saying just that saying. we can agree that there are like a certain demographic is more heavily represented on Twitter than it sure. will be in real life, which is, mm -hmm. I think, a pretty easily agreed upon thing. I think that's, thing. again, too, a little too broad, but, um, but by and large, I think you could probably say that. I don't that. think that's something. too broad. I think that's like uh, super well agreed upon. If you want to go do your own research on that sure. in your own free time. I mean, like, I'd be open to being wrong on this particular point, like whether Twitter is representative in one way or another, but I, I don't know. I, I just, I'm not convinced by like the sort of hunch that like, um, All right. Twi go, then go read on it later because like... I'm not here to convince you about. If yeah, you yeah. Think it's just I hunch. mean, that's fine. I don't really know nope. why you brought it up. I don't know what has Save to do. Save for me using. So we have screeching and mentally ill are two yeah. words that I can't use. Can I say insane or is that bad uh, too? I mean, I mean, I don't. I don't. Again, when it comes to stuff like insane, um, like I'm not I don't know. What, what am I supposed like? to I'm do? What do you want me to do? Transphobic like, in your eyes. I'm curious. Do you want me to like? Um, do you want me to like like write you a manual or something on how to be a better like? 
what you claim you are, like the last SJW, how to be a better ally. Because like, I mean, I don't, I could I do don't that. call myself an SJW. I just no. say compared to I mean, class productionist, I'm bred to, but it yeah. feels like I'm an SJW sometimes. <laughs> oh, oh, I would love to talk to you about that sometime because um, just just for the record, this is something that we definitely uh, agree on to a certain degree. I think your prescription for bread tube is wrong. Anyway, this is nowhere, neither here nor there, but we probably have a lot of agreements on class reductionism, very against class reductionism. Um, um, but, but, um, yeah, uh, there's like a whole list of things that I could say that, that are, uh, transphobic. And my, my thing to you would be, um, you know, if you're going to be in the hate directing business, if you're going to, you know, make those calls, uh, slapping the people in the Twitter prison, so to say, if we're going to call back to the example we talked about, um, I would, I would say, be more fucking careful than you are because mentally ill, insane, delusional, deranged, his, uh, like hysterical, screeching banshees. These sort of things are like, again, it's not hard to avoid these words when you're talking about people like this. These words that have literally uh, decades, if not centuries of use weaponized against those people. Yeah, you can avoid. I think you can do that. I think you can handle that. I think you're a big boy and you can do okay, that. Okay, so then on my Twitter behavior, mm -hmm. save for using mentally ill and screeching, is everything else okay? I mean, okay? you keep going back down to that, but I mean, anything like that. If you're, if you're, if you're, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think that's, not, I don't think that's a big, a, like a huge ask. I don't think that's a huge sure, thing. I, I didn't say it was a huge ask. Yeah. Well, earlier, I mean, you, you keep, you you keep doing this thing like, oh, I shouldn't say, as long as I don't say towards anything. people, how it was bad yeah. to bully people mm -hmm. off Twitter. So yeah. I'm just making sure that we're like leaving all of this by the side now. Your issue is just that when I attack people, you want to make sure that I'm not using language that can be decoded as transphobic or yeah. um, sexist or misogynistic or whatever. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, I think that would be a great improvement. And also, I think it would help you accomplish your own goals better. Okay. Or your own I don't, goals. I don't necessarily disagree with that. I wish that you would have walked in with, hey, maybe calling uh, maybe calling trans people mentally ill. Maybe that's like a little bit of a bad insult. Maybe you should stay away from that one on Twitter. That probably I would have did. been a pretty, a pretty, a pretty agreeable conversation. Like, Destiny. yeah, you know, I mentally did. ill is the way that's used to, do, but that wasn't what you walked. I did. A hundred percent, it is. We can you really think on. that that you really think yeah. that that's the argument? That that's you what that's in the with. argument I laid out with. That's the absolutely the argument I started out with. Specifically, the examples are exactly the ones we're still talking about. I haven't varied off of this particular point. I know, like, I know there's like a, an element of this, like, like trying to sell to the audience, like, oh, I was, I do, did the wrong thing in the beginning. I think you're just in the wrong here. I just think you are. And I think you didn't want to admit it when I came in with the right take because it sucks to be beaten by a Destiny 3.0, but it's okay. And well, listen, I'm just glad I don't that I'm here that I can direct the, the generation, not only in your mannerisms and in apparently the code on your website and everything else. I'm glad that I could be here to help you figure out what your argument hey, was. Hey, that's not fair and to White Nervosa. Through all of your gish galloping, I'm glad I could steel man your argument to its strongest form, which was, hey, Destiny, there are a few words that you use that can be kind of loaded towards certain groups mm -hmm. of people. Maybe you should stay away from those words. That yeah. seems to be the best version of your argument. And you know what? There is some agreeability there. I can understand that. Yeah. And I will consider that going forward. I will find other ways to impugn the mental health of trans people without making it sound transphobic. Or I'll you find could creative just not other ways to their do mental that. health. That's another thing you could do. You could just find another way to disagree, like disagree with them substantively instead of trying to like find some way to make them seem insane. Uh, like insane. That's not going to come off like well. It's not going to accomplish what you want unless like i don't know you know like, when these people disagree with me substantially then mm, maybe i'll start disagreeing with them i mean okay but like but that's neither here nor there like we're talking i'm talking to you but I'm that is here though so if we're yeah. talking specifically about lexi lexi is somebody that has made mm. some i don't know if i'm allowed to say she's made insane tweets but like this is somebody that has said remarkably astoundingly stupid shit about me online maybe. and they have not engaged with me well, so here's a little, we can do a little collage of it. I don't have sure. all these um, recorded, but obviously people post pictures and shit. But like, none of these points are like very substantial, mm -hmm. right? I didn't expect Destiny to go full. Shooters are right to keep shooting if anyone tries to stop them. But I guess 2020 is truly a breaking point for a lot of people. Oh, is that so really that bad? Enough. Come on, don't be fragile. Like you, I know you can handle that. That's not even that bad. That's not even like nothing directed against you personally. It's just kind of like, I don't like your take. Okay, then you should have no problem with me calling you mentally ill. Wait, what? If you think oh, that we're getting back to online, square one, damn it! You reset. You think, damn it! These these old 1.0 models always reset think, back to the beginning of the conversation. Think, if you think that somebody can come at me with these totally baseless, totally ad hom, totally mind-numbingly stupid takes what? over and over and over and over it's again, Twitter, then Destiny. I might say somebody like this okay. is fucking crazy. All right. Okay. And if, if every way that I can attack your fucking mind mm -hmm. somehow like conveniently, you know, goes back to being some transphobic and so I'll try harder to like avoid those 
particular phrases or expressions if I can, but this person is not beyond me relentlessly shitting on them publicly uh, when they are obsessively attacking right. me publicly. I mean, and I me, have no me, sympathy. I have no sympathy for a person like this that deletes their account because they, my fan base, okay. bully them because I, mean, I was because they that's... picked fights with me sure. over and over and over and over again. I mean, I don't know. To me, honestly, like I'm going to be completely honest with you, as somebody who engages in like the debate space, and and I'm not nearly as big as you, so I'm sure I don't have nearly as much attention yet. 3.0 models are doing great. Um, but uh, yeah, the uh, you know I'm not at that point, but I feel like if somebody made a take like that, I would go, eh. And I wouldn't like feel like, oh, this person's obsessive if they made one tweet. I think Lexi tweets quite a lot. Like, I don't know. Maybe that's, maybe tweeting too much is a bad when thing. When you have the entirety of the left internet sphere saying okay. that I uh, think that innocent protesters should be murdered by white nationalists, like spooky there's that internet there's that left phantom thing again like this so is I where think you were talking about cyber weeks so, and now you're yeah, talking yeah. about phantom left so i think you i don't know if you lack empathy which is strange because normally people accuse me of lacking empathy Here we go. Um, or if you're generally just kind of clueless about like what the online space looks like but oh, yeah very when these that. takes show up these takes are showing up with hundreds of comments thousands of upvotes and hundreds of thousands mm -hmm. of views and tens of thousands of likes of retweets on twitter okay it's not just the spooky boogeyman or whatever well, okay these so are very real people that have a very real drive and a very real vested interest in like destroying my presence on okay the okay so a couple things now listen i I can't speak on for anybody. I can't really defend anybody. First of all, I will you say that You came though, here to defend Lexi wait, wait, originally. Wait, I didn't come ahead. here to defend Lexi. I came here to attack something that I think you're doing wrong. Um, though, uh, yeah, I guess that is Lexi, a consequence not of that. Not explicitly, but go I mean, ahead. Sure. I mean, I do like I do like Lexi, and it makes me really sad that right now we don't we have one less trans creator on Twitch for the time being, and I hope that she'll come back. Um, but but yeah, that does make me sad. I will say that. Um, but the other thing too is like Destiny. I don't know, like. Um, if it hurts you and it like makes you sad and stuff that like the left is is like or that you like certain parts of the left are like really mean to you and stuff like that that's one thing but you have a ma you have a massive platform this is more than just i mean the online left is more than just like personal feelings and sure i'm sure there's some people who have a real axe to grind with you i know there's people who haven't like i have like a, a microscopic channel in comparison to you and i know there are people who have an axe to grind with me i've literally had to deal with those people already trust me it's fucking horrible um so, and i get that but what i'm saying is is that like I don't know that it's helping you navigate that problem to like have this idea of what the entire left is or to project that that specific prescription of what the online left is to every single person. Like it's I think it's perfectly possible for Cyberwitch Lexi to tweet occasionally um or even frequently about how she doesn't like your takes and not be a part of some like broader harassment claim. In fact, I think you could probably talk like um approach her in like a good faith way. Some people aren't debate bros and that's fine. Why don't you just have a conversation? You could so these people aren't just mean to me if that's where it ended wait, wait, the, that'd be fun these people again is cyber witch lexi like like she's part of that group wait, yes. really you yes. re wait you have evidence to say that like cyber witch lexi is like personally going after you like i literally have a whole collage of tweets that i just sent you of her echoing and signal oh, sorry, boosting and talking about this shit okay some well, of I'll these tweets have over a thousand likes sure. yes but she are is they part are, of that i mean but lots of tweets i mean some of the tweets now, I mean, the tweet that you retweeted. Goalpost like moving? That. Go ahead. No, wait, this isn't goalpost moving. This is you saying are. that we... No, it is not. What Go you ahead. have, if you're going to say that, like, this is some, like, deep personal vendetta, like, out Never to said it was deep and personal. Okay. It doesn't have to be. Wait, then what is it? What are you, what are you actually alleging? What these are the harm are you're alleging? Sure. Besides so what feelings, I'm allege well, which is so fine. Push what I'm alleging is that these are people that engage in unsubstantiative attacks on me that try to threaten and destroy my livelihood. So, of course, I'm going to hit back. Do you think that you really think that like every single person that you've disagreed with on the left wants to destroy your livelihood? Do you think that every single time somebody calls a trans person mentally ill, they're being transphobic? Um, I mean, not intentionally, but most of the time. Okay, yeah. then you know what? Yeah. That's exactly my response. Okay, I don't think intentionally. I think most of the sure. people that attack me online, I don't think they intentionally want to like cost me sponsors and shit, but they definitely feed into it and they definitely empower those that do. Well, Destiny, and this, this is we're kind of getting onto a different topic, but I feel nope, like nope, this... it is the exact okay, same wait, topic. Wait, Okay, fine. But, like, I think this is something interesting that we can pursue and talk about. Because it's like, I don't know. Like, your career has been uh, online, at least as far as I understand it. A lot of it has been built on um, pretty intense political contention. And I don't know how you could see um, what 
them like them tweeting at you or whatever as being threatening to your career or whatever any more so than what you're doing to them like in fact i would argue that you're because when i attack these people i don't go after their money it's very rare that i ever do that it is incredibly rare that i will go after somebody's livelihood well okay but here's something that my chat brought up that i think is a good point that i would like to share which is um and this is something else that's specific to this particular example but also applies um in general to like trans people and marginalized people online um a lot of and and again i i don't blame you if you don't if you don't know this personally because you're not trans as far as i know um but a lot of trans people only have online because of the way that the simple facts of being trans in america so if you're if you destroy their online platform one way or another make it unusable or or terrifying so that they're being harassed or whatever um that can actually do exactly what you're talking about functionally it can destroy their entire ability to you make a livelihood you do not if you are a trans person and you mm -hmm. exist online you are under no obligation to take part in the toxic shit oh, for sure. that is online twitter politics oh, i mean i agree with none you none of the people that i attack are innocent trans people that just get caught in the crossfire that does not I happen lexi is that. not that person live uh, posting is not that i've shown you a collage of tweets. i mean i haven't lexi I, I haven't is looked not at just because i've got you all up lexi on Discord, is not but. just a random person that happened to wander into a street and i saw somebody and pulled the trigger that is not what happened here lexi so, is incredibly provocative online mm -hmm. with her tweets in terms of attacking certain content incredibly. creators you can make all the dumb faces I mean, you want well, but it is absolutely Look, I will true look over, I will so Wait, Destiny, listen, I just want to respond to this. Like, I, I will engage in, in good faith and look at these tweets, but I just, I don't know. But right now I have you up on Discord. I would have to look at the DMs, but I, I will. I promise you. I'm not I'm not okay, blowing smoke great. up your ass on this. I will Liv engage posting is the exact same way. But, she's tweeted ethical child porn and shit at me and like all sorts of other shit she's made claims. Liv posting made a claim once that people, I, does she stream on Twitch? She must, right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. yeah. Liv posting made a claim once that I had a whole bunch of fans that went over mm. and like called her transphobic shit and harassed her. I had a head mod reach out and ask for names. Give us any names and we'll ban this group because I always make people do that and she didn't respond with a single fucking name. Yeah. Okay. Um, so sure. I, well, just, just real quick. Okay. Yeah. I, I, I don't like how you are reframing a lot of these things in a very sympathetic way in ways that are not reflective of reality. So for instance, hold on, to be clear. So you're mm -hmm. saying that um, why are you mad when people say, I just want to trace the outline of this conversation. You said, why are you mad when people are just being mean to you on Twitter? I'm not mad that people are being mean. I love it when people be mean to me. That's mm -hmm. fun for me. Mm -hmm. What I don't like is when people attack my livelihood. Okay. I do not attack people's livelihoods, except in exceedingly rare cases. I think the only person I've ever actually done that to, I think is Sargon of Akkad. It is okay. exceedingly rare that I attack somebody's livelihood. Yeah. And then you fire back, well, well, hold on. When you're mean to some of these trans people on Twitter, for some trans people, that's the only form of online yeah. communication they have. That is absolutely not not true that a trans person's only form of online communication is relentless not, not every posting trans about politics no no, no not every trans person now hold sure. on there's a couple of things to address here first of all um i i think that yeah going after people's livelihoods is by and large pretty fucking shitty um um i don't know uh i guess i don't have it i wouldn't be able to i wasn't really planning on a discussion about going after people's livelihoods but i don't know if you ever have or haven't well i only um, have to say that because you said that you seem to think that i'm just mad at these people because they're mean well, to me on twitter I mean, that's not why i i, I don't them. know because why. they contact my sponsors they've contacted the site that i stream on they've gotten me well, departed okay. on twitch <sighs> they've like gotten there's me a multiple lot of sponsorships lost like okay i know but there's there's like a lot of um there's like a a fuckload of um what's going on here is like like broad generalizations that i don't think like are fair at all like like and i think this is a problem and and no, i don't know it's not wait, wait, fair. Wait, 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 you gotta let me talk a little bit about this because you've brought up You're a whole bunch so dismissive but go i'm ahead. not being dismissive listen like I'm, dismissive. how am i dismissive like am i do you feel like i'm dismissing your feelings? I'm, I'm engaging you with you in good real faith. harms okay, that wait, i've materially wait. suffered and you're saying so you're you're telling me wait what you're trying to tell me is that you have evidence that specifically live posting and Lexi in the, ca the case that we're talking about, I can't really like, there's a lot of, that would have to engage in a lot of evidence on this particular thing that those people were, were a part of a campaign and you have evidence of this to remove your sponsorships and damage your livelihood. And yeah, that so in Vosh's community, Vosh's oh, roommate and girlfriend got a huge fucking retweet going with over uh, 500,000 views. And at the same time that that was happening, a whole bunch of people in his subreddit and his chat were saying that I needed to be departnered. Okay. A whole bunch of other people online were amplifying these messages saying that like Destiny wants to kill all protesters and shit. I had emails that went out to all of my sponsors. I had emails that went out to Twitch. I guess it's possible that maybe just one crazy person was doing this and all the other like cool. online commotion. Well, was I mean, just, like, I don't know what this but... has to do with anything what we're talking about. Like this, again, this feels like you're 
lumping. This wait, 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 you just got a turn, I got wait, wait, stop saying, I don't know what this has to do with what you're talking about, you specifically said, well, Destiny, what's your evidence of this, I just gave you some, and now you're like, well, what is it? No, 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 you didn't give me evidence, you literally immediately, after I asked for evidence about Liv, and about, um, and, uh, and about Lexi, you pivoted to Vosh, and I think Vosh's roommate, and Vosh's partner. And, okay, and, I'm like, sorry. Here's evidence of Liv. I've already given you a whole collage okay, of that. Sure, sure. Or, I'm sorry, I'm sorry uh, uh, of Lexi. Here's like one Liv tweet out of a, okay. uh, a dozen that she's made so, about me, responding with ethical child porn, okay. um, which, is a, which is a common I mean, right-wing hit piece. Man, you can laugh it off if you want. Wait, no, wait, but I don't know what that means in this context. Like, like th these seem like a lot of, like, what it sounds like right now is like you're sort of airing a lot of, like, random dirty laundry, and I don't know if you any of this... Wait, wait the I'm, not just, I'm not done yet. I'm not done. I'm not done. Let me finish, Destiny. Let me finish. I obviously, I have to go look through whatever you've provided if we're gonna if I'm, I'm i'm not even here to defend individuals what i'm but what we've been talking about is the way that's engaged it's actually possible for you to engage in a really bad way with somebody who's also engaged in a bad way with you that has no no bearing on the conversation that we've had as we're moving to a sort of a um you know as the conversation has evolved as i've talked to you longer um obviously there's been some new topics that have come up, and I don't know, like, I don't know how you would, like, if you have evidence that there's, like, a campaign being against you and Cyberwitch Lexi and every trans person on the internet or something is a part of this, whatever it is, like, okay, um, The only sure. reason we're talking about this now is because yeah. you rattled off four statements in a row. You said, mm -hmm. it hurts you that people are mean to you online. The online left is more than just personal feelings, yeah. and I don't know if you're helping yourself navigate this problem, okay. and Lexi isn't part of this, like, broader group of people harassing you. These I mean, were the claims you rattled off, and this is yeah. what I'm responding to but directly. I mean that's true though like I mean the fact of the matter is like I mean I don't know how familiar you are with like the actual circles that exist like on left Twitter I I feel like not very much because I again I did a segment on your analysis of breadtube and I found it incredibly lacking um which is fine uh I I don't expect you to be an expert on like a a, a community that you're not a part of or whatever um but like like you think I'm missing what it sounds like to me is that you identify people like you'll identify someone as like, oh, this is a leftist. And that means they're obviously in lockstep with every other type of leftist. And like you don't understand that there's like literally not agreement between any of these groups and that like Lexi regularly, like, for example, and this is an example. This is true about nearly every person online. There's a lot of disagreements. There's no fucking lockstep between these people. If you're going to allege like a conspiracy against you, or if you're going to allege that someone's trying to kill your campaign and this justifies your general behavior or uh, kill your, your job or career, and this justifies your behavior uh, in, in how you engage with other people, well, I would, I would ask, as anybody should, for evidence of that and reasons why you would justify, oh, well, this person did this to me. That's why we have this bad relationship. If we want to sure. talk so about specifics. These communities in general hate me but that's a different claim than are all leftist in lockstep of yeah, course but... there's a ton of leftist infighting i talk about it all the fucking time Wait, but lots of there's people... even there's even lukewarm leftists like the american leftist infighting that happens right now in the democratic party yeah, of yeah. course there's leftist infighting. i would never deny that but but like but i don't but surely but you can recognize simultaneously that... be true this, this is a false dichotomy it doesn't have to be one or the other simultaneously right. leftists can all fight with each other but then also come together to agree that they fucking but hate can me. people hate with you and disagree or hate you and disagree with you without you interpreting it as a, an attack on your career or a personal attack because what it sounds like is so far and again we'll see yeah, if, the evidence yes, if, but it doesn't seem can, like that's the they, case it seems like any totally attack against possible. you it seems like i mean like again when it's, wait, it, wait, wait, wait wait hold on i'm sorry uh, wait, my you conversations with vosh okay. generally okay vosh. Vosh, he doesn't usually attack my career. Okay. He usually has substantial disagreements, even if I think his last name is really dumb. Usually Vosh has substantial disagreements. Okay. There's a guy online called Socialism Then Left. Sure. Okay. This guy disagrees on things, but all of his disagreements with me are substantial. Okay. They are actually a matter of substance. Okay. And, and I, I know like there that. are a few others that I can't think of off the top of my head. Yeah, like Demon but the Mama. Line Demon share, Mama. The what? The Demon Mama. Yeah, this this person. I've not sure. gone after your career. I've engaged with you the substantially. The lion share of people that attack me from the left mm -hmm. do not engage with what I say. Okay. They give dog shit takes on Twitter yeah. that seem to be with the with the explicit goal of drumming up as much hatred and harassment and attacking and threatening my livelihood as possible. So for okay. instance, with Lexi quote tweeting something of me and saying, property always matters more to, more than lives to liberals. Do you okay. think that's an actual disagreement with anything I've said? Wait, do you think that I've mean, ever come online and said like, oh yeah, I think that property is more important to, than lives. Like, wait, what a, what a dog shit take. Listen, I, I I, I, that's not my take, so I can't really defend it, but I 
don't believe that it's rational for you to assume that that's like some sort of an attack on your career. That is a completely it's clearly that is not, not an attack on an argument. Wait, that it absolutely is. Made. Like, okay, listen, I have never wait, wait, wait. made that on, argument. Hold on a before. second. What else wait, do I interpret wait, it as? Hold on, hold on a second. Let, let me let me play a little bit of devil's advocate here. And again, I can't really defend Lexi's position, but I can tell you can how that too. sort of what's that. You kind of came here too. Well, no, okay. I I kind of didn't. I know I mean, you're you saying like saying Lexi that. is a good friend, and I'm sad no, that she's I, off. Lexi's Twitter not a friend of mine. I don't actually like. I don't know Lexi. I like her as a streamer. Okay, I'm. Yeah. I think exp I think expl explicit what you said was something like, like I'm just sad that we've lost a good yeah, friend. Yeah, Lexi no, off of yeah, I do. I do think that's sad. Yeah. I, so I hate that. When you I hate say that. that it seems as though you're kind of implicitly defending her position. But okay, no, you're not. Go ahead. I'm really not. Like the th the fact of the matter is, again, I mean, in this case, um, you can argue like. Again, we're using this as an example, but saying the argument that like valuing property um, over people's lives, maybe you think that's a bad mischaracterization of you, but I think that there's an argument that could be made in that way in good faith. Maybe you would disagree with it, but I don't think that that's like a good example. Like these examples that you've brought up to me are not good examples of people having like a hate campaign against you. In fact, I've made similar arguments. And I, like I would be willing from a lefty perspective talking about if we're going to talk about politics, for example, I would argue that a lot of liberals do unconsciously value property more than human life. Maybe that's not you. Maybe that, but that's, a, couldn't that be a debate that's happened and not like- I don't think anyone legitimately thinks that property is worth more than human life i mean not not if you ask them would you would you trade your xbox for a human life but when we look at the way that um like if we look at the way that we build policy around like uh for example um a good example of this is like an, like anti-homeless policy um people absolutely the priorities that are put forward in anti-homeless legislation absolutely value property over human life and as a result because they build um whether it's hostile architecture this is just one example i could go this, i could list 100 of these. i understand what you're saying yeah but, but all this just valuing property over human life is so unimaginably reductionist well, that i would call you not making okay, a substantial so argument here's what i'm saying um Maybe you think that's not a substantive argument, but I don't think that that's a justifying that what you presented here is a justifying example to say that somebody like hates you and is a part of a hate campaign. They disagreed with you. They made a Twitter take. Here's the thing. I can, I will share something with you from the 3.0 model. You can take the system update. I invented a thing called the imps code. You've seen it. I know you know it. And this is because Twitter is absolute shit for meaningful discourse. The number one rule is immediately stop discoursing. And the reason that you do that is because when you discourse on Twitter, this never happens. And we've been back and forth. We've been contentious and spicy and everything, but we've actually had a conversation. Cannot because happen on I've Twitter. narrowed your claim down to nah, like nah, nah. I helped you I figure out what I was saying from the very beginning. I helped you build. Walked you I mean, back from listen, you had like three friend, reboots. Okay. I know it's hard to remember them. The the 1.0 models with the reboots. I get it. It's it's hard. But um, but the. the it, you know, I don't hold it against you. But the fact of the matter is that we've had an actual conversation. We've actually gone back and forth. This cannot happen on Twitter. Twitter is structurally, it's impossible to have a meaningful conversation on Twitter. You will get dunks and whatnot. That's why I say don't discourse. So if you have give even the slightest shit about somebody, move it to some other platform like we have. Um, although I did start by dunking on you a little bit. Um, the uh but yeah if you if you do that and then the second rules are the other things that you can use twitter for which is like memes stuff like this promoting your content and dunking on people that you hate or people that you intend to go hard on which we did um so yeah and so the thing is is like with this particular thing with lexi i don't think this is a good example of somebody like directing hate i just think it's like a like a 120 characters boiled down sure. tweet so and i think you I can have that so i don't know if you are um because now i have to try to guess at your psychological state I don't mean that in any transphobic way, sure. I, if that it was interpreted as such. So I don't know if you're defending this person because you are friends with them and you're lying about it, nope. or if you defend them because they're on the left, nope. or if you just can't see what you're saying, but any rational sane person that okay. would read this mm -hmm. and look at this would be like, oh yeah, this person is definitely involved in like a large community of people that probably directs a lot of hate towards the person that they're mentioning. It is so I don't agree with unbelievably your obvious Destiny. while reading this. Like, that for listen, you to say, well, Destiny. I don't know if their takes are actually directing hate towards me. I can't um, believe that you are legitimately no, engaged. No, no. Well, let me explain argument. myself here. No, wait, I can, I, can, I, can, I can do this. And I, I think that, um, no offense, but I think that if there's anyone who's a little bit um, like disconnected with reality here, I think it's you. Um, I follow a lot of people on, on Twitter. I 
people make takes all the time. People make takes about me all the time. Who fucking cares? Why are you so? Your your entire career is take making. You make. Takes. Why do I care? I've already wait. told you why I care. I'll revisit yeah, it real quickly. Yeah. It's because these people no, attack wait. my livelihood. Wait. If they just shit on me on Twitter, no, 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 then no, no, you're it would doing be a it again. Day. You're just you're just grabbing everybody. The examples that you provided of specific. And here's the thing. I can tell you exactly what my motivation is coming in here because I'm very clear about them. I talk about it on my stream all the time. I want Twitch. I want the world to be a better place for trans people. That's one of my main motivations in life. And when I see somebody who's influential and powerful in a space making it harder for trans people, that's going to go against it. I don't, I, I barely talked to Lexi. I, I know her by the fact that I share a space with her. I've never even collaborated or made content with her. So I, I do appreciate her, her presence. I don't know if there's like, maybe there's, she's a part of a secret anti-destiny action movement. That's possible. I'm open to that possibility. But what I'm saying is, is that my motivation in coming here is to correct the action that you were partaking in. You're the one I'm talking to here. So I don't know what, what like this broader left. And also, I just don't think that you have the evidence to rationally claim that like Lexi making a, like a, a like a, a, redu a slightly reductionist Twitter post about you is like some example of going after your campaign. I think that's like really- well, then Do you have any evidence that me calling somebody mentally ill is me like directing transphobic Absolutely. Hate? Yeah, absolutely. What I can show you, I literally have screenshots I've been taking all morning of just examples of, of, of things that happened only after you engaged with me. You engaged so with- So if I have, yeah. so, and, and, and listen, and I mm -hmm. didn't have anybody emailing my sponsors until people like Lexi were retweeting these tweets. Well, so, but I mean, but that's not the same thing at all. That's How not even close not, to the well, same true. Thing. My situation is actually a lot worse. You're just no, getting it hit online. I'm no, having people no. like actually like no. defunding my right. fucking income. No. Like, that's not how this this like, really you think you wait 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 no think it's no. worse hold than on, on Maya? hold on you, you have to actually let me respond to things i do think it's bad when people are uh like like it, like damaged what i'm saying is is that these aren't comparable at all you are a massive massive public figure you your career is built around like it or not making hot takes you takes you say and you admittedly do this yourself engage in extreme hyperbole there are risks involved with that you are going to piss some people off and i'm not what i'm saying is i'm not saying wait hold on off. hold on let me finish i know i recognize that like that's there's certain people who go too far there's fucking haters and weird stalkers and all that shit but that doesn't mean that everybody who disagrees with you automatically falls into that category. And so I already gave you examples of two people that don't. I don't think everybody that disagrees with me falls in that category. But people mm -hmm. that retweet garbage like this and give garbage takes about but stances. That's a garbage take. That's not the same thing. You can't you don't have any evidence that these that that these people that you keep motioning to, specifically in the case that we're talking about, Cyberwitch Lexi or Liv, that either I mean, you don't of them, have any evidence wait, that my mentally ill tweets have contributed to any harassment. But I but I do. That's the thing. No, you don't. Because thing. yes, it is no, actually I I do. The no. fact Wait, 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 Destiny, literally. If you do, you then I wait, do. wait, because wait. people weren't emailing my sponsors or Twitch until after. But these you don't know. Really but you don't know who, e who. Wait, hold on. This is so silly, Destiny. This is this is so unbelievably silly. It's so below you. Like I'm dead serious. Well, the wait, is it, like the argument let me is finish. one to one here, but you can't. Wait, it see isn't it one to one, really even funny. close. So we'll keep hammering wait, it until you okay. finally. Hold on. Let's 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 go there. No, no. I'll explain it to you. I know 1.0 model. We'll get back to this again. Here we go. So. The, the, the fact of the matter is, let's say, let's go with your Kyle Rittenhouse uh, comment. The big spicy one that caused everything. Sucks. Mm -hmm. I'm really sorry. I also said I don't think that you deserve to be departnered. But again, TOS, all types of people, shit happens. I, I'm not on Twitch for that reason, um, which is fine. Um, but the fact of the matter is, you don't know who emailed. It could have been, you have, when you, when you go on, uh, when you go on stream and you stream, what are, what's your current viewer count right now? Just out of curiosity. Probably like 20,000 or something. 20,000 people. You don't think that maybe it could have been one of those 20,000 people that was pissed off at you and not some random Twitter lefty that you're completely fixated on enough to blow up? Mm. Like, And you don't think I might have some random Nicholas Fuentes anti-fan that follows me that yeah. might have attacked a trans person? Yeah, you do. But the difference is, the difference here is that you don't mm -hmm. have evidence that any of that Lexi or any of these people that you're fixating on that you're hating on or whatever that you are convinced are a part of this conspiracy theory you don't have any evidence that they actually had anything to do with your departnering or anything like that you have no evidence of that they just didn't like your take and what you're evidence assuming you have wait, what evidence you have what evidence do you have let me tell you any last yeah. night i had zero fucking interactions i retweeted your okay. tweet got a couple likes whatever this morning i had you retweeted me, and a fuckload of people were in my mentions, multiple of which who perhaps swept in. Maybe it was another Discord that saw you. Uh -huh. You don't know those are anybody uh, that related to me. Maybe, but I, I mean, oh, so I there feel, we go. So then we're on the same page. It is technically, it is technically possible that you uh, retweeted me 
and okay. then and, another and, okay, Discord well, just by pure it is chance. It's technically possible that some right But you know this is an equivalent. The chances are talking Rittenhouse take that I agree with most Destiny, of them on, is, and it this, wasn't the left wing people wait, who wait, I got a 500,000 view Twitter clip. Maybe it's Destiny, possible. this is so disingenuous. You know it is. I you have a 20. You have I do know this wait, is. I wait, know that's wait, why I don't know why you can no, no, on your it. Your position on this is disingenuous. You know you have a much larger audience than almost anyone else on this platform. By definition, your voice is reaching more people. You have the likelihood to piss off it's many people. True. You Vosh cannot probably has okay. a Vosh could have a we're larger not talking about community. we're not talking about Vosh here. That's like, where this you started. Can't, no, it didn't actually. Yes, it did. Wait, no, it, wait. Okay, so this is okay. I, I see what's going on here. Like what's happening no, no, no. now is like I think no, no. that I think no, no. you're stuck no, no. on Vosh. Like you've got I'm I not hate to say it, but about anything. I'm just. I think you don't know what else has happened here. So you're your trying heart. to defend arguments you don't realize. There's like some descriptive facts you're missing. Did the so 2.0 this... model break your heart? No. So the 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 so Vosh's. I, I don't know if this is his roommate or girlfriend. I remember which one. It's one of these two. Yeah. Made a tweet. Okay. Okay. Sure. That was taking a small section mm -hmm. of my written house argument. Okay. Sure. Okay. And then yeah. people I like Lexi and yeah. other lefties on the internet signal uh -huh. boosted the fuck out of this. Okay. Now. Unless I believe there's some crazy other world dimension where other people are coming out and emailing my sponsors, a lot of left-leaning related people started to email Twitch and sure. my sponsors to attack mm -hmm. me over this clip that was okay. being amplified by people like Lexi. So okay. Lexi and everybody else that is involved in amplifying these mm -hmm. tweets is contributing to that attack. So, but this is this is this is where it becomes conspiracy because, and and I I get it. Like there, there are some unknowns. Just likewise, in the case that it is technically possible that a secret Discord found what my is an unknown Wait, here. Hold on, it is technically possible. What's unknown is that you don't know your your video was seen. First of all, you broadcast that in the first place. The 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 number of people who saw this from from um, I think it was Conyer was the original one. The number of people who saw it from Conyer is is like a fraction of the number of people that originally saw your clip. That's you, not true. Uh, yes, it is. That's not true. I, because I bet that, I had this conversation wait, at like Destiny? 2 a.m. I was in Sweden. Wait, there wait. weren't even that many people watching that stream and that debate. Oh, this I didn't disagree. grow up and go viral. That's fine so to disagree. This so, is my well, life. Let's, let's this clip thing. on Twitter had over okay. 500,000 views. This okay. was this went viral on this Twitter. Sure. And it wasn't off okay. of my stream. It was I this mean, person sure. and all the people that signal boosted. I mean, maybe at this point, I don't know. Like, because here's the thing. I feel like you're being a little bit um dishonest with like the metrics here. I would love, and, and I'm serious because here's the thing we don't know how many i mean we don't unless you have the data how many people were watching your stream that night i mean i know your average audience is more than five hundred thousand. Okay. well well but wait but that's five hundred thousand views you know that's not the same exact thing like five hundred thousand views cumulatively how long has that clip been up two months I, dude come on, on this screen. is this is so basic you know you're being dishonest here two five hundred thousand views over two months is completely different than how many people were live watching no, at no, the no, no 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 you, no hold on hold on wait. hold on hold on hold on you just don't have the information oh, so one God. this screenshot was taken on august 20th 29th okay this wasn't sure. up for like months and months and months august okay? 29th when what, Number... what, what's the date right now i know it's COVID, but what's the date right now we're in december yeah damn it's been up for a long fucking time hasn't it okay no no i'm telling you that the screenshot showing that the video has 500,000 views comes okay. from august 29th okay the rittenhouse shooting was on like the 25th <laughs> okay so this got 500,000 yeah. views you're almost a big streamer night. people watch shit that's related to you your no, name no, no, has no, brand no. identity you know this come on destiny name. you're a professional fucking streamer you know how these mechan these these okay. metrics work you know that you, views is not the same as live views you are this breaking is so silly. okay i'm not breaking you, this is obvious breaking you're being trying so to dishonest. make excuses okay well, on my stream i was doing a boring game i had right. like two thousand viewers mm -hmm. i was in the middle of the night and i went to talk to vosh about this and i had to mute my stream to do it yeah. this was not a big wait. stream that millions wait. of people were watching wait, the, the vosh one reason... wasn't where this came from this came what? from the quote the quote the now maybe we're talking about different clips here and and my bad if that's the case but if i remember correctly it was vivian wolf that you oh, were this having... is vivian i was talking to not yeah, vosh yeah. okay sorry so, so this is at a later yeah. point but um this clip was not a massively fucking viral clip until somebody mm -hmm. clipped it they okay. tweeted like sure. a, uh, an inflammatory message on top of it and then sure. it started to get signal boosted okay. by a ton of left-leaning okay. people right um yeah what part of that do you disagree with there's nothing that i disagree with there okay there's so never been anything people were I've motivated with there, people were motivated wait to but contact. destiny this people is the... were mo wait wait okay, come okay, on go ahead go ahead go ahead very go ahead. simple train choo 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 okay so <laughs> this clip went viral okay yeah people saw the clip they were very livid about it and they decided to start emailing my sponsors on twitch and everybody to try to get me canceled okay 
Yeah, that's Lexi the conspiracy was part part. of the group of people that amplified. Wait, 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 this. but that's totally different. But retweeting a clip of you, you can't possibly believe that retweeting a clip of you that's viral on Twitter, you are a broadcaster. Do you know how many viral clips of you are on all over the web? Listen, you chose to say those things. And I'm going to say this for the record, because I've talked about this and you can go check my stream about it. Do I think that what you said violated TOS? Probably. Do I think that you deserve to be departnered? No, I don't. I never have. Um, that sucks, but I think it's ridiculous of you to, to think that just because Lexi retweeted a, a viral tweet of you when you are literally one of the most largest people on the platform, it, that somehow that makes her like implicated in and, sh and deserving of being somebody who wants to take you down just because she retweeted a hot take that you did. You put that hot take out in the first place. I agree it shouldn't have gotten you departnered. I think we're in agreement on that. I think even maybe Cyber Witch Lexi would agree with that. I don't know. If Lexi is involved in getting thousands of likes on a tweet, retweeting something that led to people emailing me and getting me canceled, if she doesn't, if she's not to be held liable for that, Destiny. then why am I supposed to be liable for the fact that other people might use mentally ill Wait, as a way to discourage Because those trans are totally people? different circumstances. Explain how. It's ex incredibly easy. Um, it's incredibly easy for me to explain okay. how the difference is. Go ahead. Somebody retweeting a random tweet of something that wasn't you random. Wait. It wasn't a random Hold tweet. On. This it is. is the tweet that got me. Yep. Okay. Well, so yeah. No, it was the the take got you departnered, and I recognize that. Yes. Well, no, it was people emailing the company that got me sure, departnered. Sure, but the take okay. had to be made first, and you do admit. I'm and sure it, you will admit it was inflammatory. First, but go ahead. It was inflammatory, was it not? Was it not hyperbolic and a little bit inflammatory? I made tons of hyperbolic. Yes, and inflammatory I know. Takes. That's okay. what I'm saying. These are always risks when you make any inflammatory statement. I know for a fact that there's stuff that if people really wanted to, they could probably ruin and my there life. There are risks when you act mentally ill online. That's not but go ahead. Thing. Yeah. Tell That's me why it's totally different. not the same. So Tell here's the what? difference. The difference is when you're somebody who's just random, when you're literally just randomly retweeting a, somebody's bad take that you, it's going viral, you're like, haha, this is really funny. Look, Destiny said a dumb thing. And you retweet that. You're not literally, you're not taking any sort of action whatsoever. And like, if even you if literally wait, wait, are. let me finish. Just, you're you retweeting. Are. You are literally. Okay. I see what you're saying. It. So what you're saying is that I should be able to go through your. Twitter history, and if you've ever retweeted anything or liked anything that has had a bad result, that therefore I should be able to permanently accuse you of being a part of a conspiracy to take Destiny down or whoever Not you... Not a bad result, but if I'm yeah. retweeting or liking tweets that yeah. are trying to like attack somebody that and, I shouldn't be, then and the yeah, difference... people already do that for me. Uh, let dude, me wait. Sometimes, I, sometimes I'll retweet what I what, it, what looks like a take, and people will tell me, like, dude, that person that you retweeted, if you go back 10 more tweets, that yeah. person actually retweeted enough. Sure. Like, oh, fuck, I guess I have to yeah. unretweet them. But, okay, yeah, of course. that's fine. Course, yeah, but I mean, like this that's all the perfectly, time. that's per that, that's totally not what's going on here. You're talking about somebody retweeting something and you're spinning this into, um, justification for, um, harassment and, and transphobic harassment. And now you're saying about the mentally, I, I mean, you're sort of starting to smear it together. The difference is, no, 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 right? no, hold on. My you harassment let me was answer not, eventually. No, no. My, you're saying, oh, you're mischaracterizing. Okay. I was not engaging in transphobic harassment. I was engaging in harassment that you said could be co-opted by people to be look well, transphobic or I, could empower transphobic attacks. Yeah. And well, but I would say, I would say that, that the, if you're going to believe that, then Lexi is engaging in retweets no, that's that not are, the same. she is. No, they're not She's the same, Destiny. You know this is not the same. being used by other people to try to cancel my Let me explain why this is not the same. First of all, you have the platform. You are, you have, not dictatorial, but you have an incredible amount of power with your platform. When that you doesn't help wait, me. That doesn't wait, shield me from anything. Wait a second. Bring that up like Excuse it matters, me. but it Hold doesn't. Hold on a Go second. Ahead. It does actually matter. Let me, because when you are choosing to retweet someone with commentary, and I would argue that the comments that you made against Cyberwish Lexi were unintentionally or, or intentionally, I don't know. I, I'm guessing probably unintentionally, actually transphobic. That, in my opinion, was transphobic harassment. Um, and then also contributed to people flooding in, which is the secondary effect. And you know this is a secondary effect. We all know this. This is something we all have why, to think about. Why am I responsible for my secondary effects? You're, Lexi isn't. You're, wait a second. Because the secondary effect is is totally different. You're talking about uh, the well, a, a, true. Wait, my wait. secondary effect was some uh, people said mean things on, on Twitter. Let me finish secondary effect wait, was you're asking me. me like, I need to explain quid. it, Destiny. I know. Uh -huh. I know. But the fact of the matter is that a retweet, you have no evidence that the single retweet of a viral video of you, a broadcaster who puts your vi videos out, your takes out to lots and lots of people is actually like somehow responsible for you getting departnered other than some weird butterfly effect. However, when you retweet someone with transphobic harassment and your followers who follow your channel, who follow your, your 
advice generally. I don't think you're responsible for every single action individually. This person is not just doing a single retweet. But this person they, is engaging in a pattern oh of shit God. talking so, online and getting yeah. thousands of likes while doing it. And what you're saying is this is this is a fix. This is where I'm starting to feel like I'm running into a brick wall with you. It feels like you I have a fixation understand. with people who disagree with you or don't like you. You have a wait, 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 wait. I'm not done. I'm not done. Correcting you I, on that. I, I don't care wait. if people disagree with me. But what I don't not, like but, is when people because, are amplifying because illegitimate voices trying to get me canceled. Wait, but functionally you do because what we've taught, what the evidence you've presented against the example that we're using here, and of course maybe there's other examples, but we're talking about a specific example. The example that we're using here, you have no evidence that this is what's happening. Oh. She just just retweeted a video. That's it. A video of your own take that's not anything else. It's just your take being a bad take. And I do, again, so I will I state for the record. I don't have evidence that they were in any way Im yeah. amplifying or empowering people that would yeah, like absolutely. to do campaigns don't. or whatever. You don't but have any you, evidence of that. I you don't have any reasonable somebody evidence. And somebody else starts to tweet. This like, is so silly. And I'm directly you have, responsible yes, for it. Gotcha. Yes, okay. yes, you have okay. a massive platform and you're talking about a retweet as the mm -hmm. justification for why you think it's okay to um, instigate your audience into transphobic harassment whether you meant that to be the case or not that's what happens we all like i don't think we need to retread the fact that we are that creators are responsible to your audience in fact i seem to recall you making a giant video about how vosh should be more responsible with his audience or something and if that's the case then this, no, this all flies back on true. you it was not about vosh being more responsible with his audience the people in vosh's life that tried to get me canceled were his girlfriend and his fucking roommate you can't always chain your audience down to not giving dog shit takes or not doing horrible things. I know that. I don't hold I mean, Vosh accountable for his entire audience. Yeah. What I hold him accountable for, accountable for is the fact there is a massive threat. You can make faces all you want, but it's true. People can go back and they can watch my videos sure. and my words a million times. I don't hold people liable for their entire fucking audience because most okay. people's audiences fucking hate me, and I don't usually hold that against people. Okay. The problem is that Vosh had huge threads going up in his subreddit trying to get me canceled. Mm -hmm. A moderator on his subreddit, his girlfriend, and his roommate, and moderators on his Discord all saying that they should report my shit and get me canceled. Mm -hmm. That was my problem. It wasn't that his some people in his community were bad apples. It were mm. leadership people in his community were bad yeah. apples, and he didn't want to take a hard stance against it so, until after the so fact. Here's that a was question. my problem. Just to be clear, because you yeah, keep okay, making these fine. weird claims well, no, that I'm mad because his audience that, hates like, me. What, I don't care what, if people hate me. I don't care if people don't like okay. me, and I don't care if people's audience hate me. I just don't well, like when there are coordinated attacks on larger platforms. People that are supposed to be my friend that try to get my income destroyed. The, the reason that the reason that we keep I feel like we keep coming back to this particular subject is because I feel like you kind of. Um, see like you have these the specific problem with like not just with vosh but with vosh's partners or whatever and then you then trans like transfer that over to different people in order to justify why you're bad mean to them or you're you go against well, because them. if other people are going to start to amplify but dude it's over attacks. a retweet like you can't possibly this can't be like I mean, talking is about it just a retweet? It's a retweet with commentary and multiple tweets behind it. Okay, so what was if the commentary? Wait, no, I'm and... just asking. What was the commentary on the original one? This is shitty of Destiny to say this. What what fucking bullshit? This is mask the, off the, or whatever. The first, the thing that she said on the tweet that went viral was yeah. property always matters more to more than lives to liberals. Okay, like is that? Are you really that? Is that that offensive to you? It's like, not even like, remotely in line with wait, what wait, I but believe. Who, but but okay, so so worst case scenario, what we have here is a dumb take. That's it. Okay. A response worst case, to your me calling take. somebody mentally ill on Twitter. No, that's also trans, not that's the also same thing. Take, Don't do the. You're you're just trying to justify. You, you've already admitted that you were wrong. You're justifying. I'm, I'm not justifying. I'm showing that's what's you. Happening right now. No, what I'm showing you is that the justification that you use for mm -hmm. for uh directing harassment, whether it's transphobic or not, is mm -hmm. at this directing harassment towards me. Go ahead. That's not directing harassment. Retweeting retweeting a public figure is not necessarily directing harassment now i tweeting a public figure with a disingenuous tagline characterizing their position in an obviously fucking horrible way is obviously direct wait you don't think you've ever course. done that ever you don't think you've ever retweeted someone on twitter i think I've, i know for a fact you have i could probably go scroll your timeline right now and find a hundred examples of you doing that and you have 20 times the platform that any of yes, those people have but the difference is so is it's, I try it's to, what I this try is, is to it's okay when you do it what, hold on hold on i try to attack people mm. over what they say i try not to like straw man or whatever wait, but that's, that's not... oftentimes why and people will make fun well, of me for it but you even agree to me that's oftentimes why i usually try to bring people on for a conversation mm. because it's probably easier to figure out what somebody means or wants to say over a conversation than 140 okay. character or 280 character tweets okay so well like i don't know like 
uh, how do we move on from here in in that like i don't know do you want to have a conversation about that specific take because it sounds like that take really bothered you or something or like takes like this really bother you and if you want to talk about like lefty stuff like i don't no, i don't care about any of that i just okay. don't want a bunch of snowflakes crying to me that i'm harassing them on twitter when they spend so much time making horrible dog shit takes about tweets at me and then are also involved in these fucking okay. email campaigns or empower these email campaigns to get me deep but partnered empower, on but destiny like look with all due respect and again i'll state it again so that the dggers understand that i'm being honest about this i don't think it was good that you're departnered i think that sucks i don't um, care that but you wait, think that. That's but not wait no, I, this about. is why i'm, I'm making this clear because voices. i'm about to make a point listen at the at at like i think that's a bad thing but the fact of the matter is that the biggest enabler of the email campaign was your own words I think that we can acknowledge that, like, what you said there is pretty fucking inflammatory. This isn't, that's not what we're talking it, about. Wait, wait, we are, though, because what you're saying is that people retweeting and commenting. Then fine. And, and then the biggest enabler of Lexi being called mentally ill was her tweeting was you. at me. No, it was no, you. No, it was her tweeting at me. She should Really? Oh, my yep. God, easy. Destiny. So easy. Destiny, because you know what? If she, does, if, if she could just keep my name out of her fucking mouth... For more than fucking you're 10 a public tweets. figure you know you're what? so well hey and you know okay. what she's this attacking is... a public figure on a public platform so this you know is... what well this then is... i can attack her this is what it boils down to this is ultimately you're going you're bending over backwards to find any justification i'm that not you... i'm literally just using your justification no, i don't not. even have to make the arguments you're making them for me and then i'm just like changing some of the nouns around mm -hmm. <laughs> that's what's happening here yeah. i know that you don't I mean, see I, it, but... I don't feel like that i feel like like i know you everyone... don't feel that way but that's literally what's happening i mean so to make this like crystal clear for you right to make this crystal clear we know we've been over this hundred times and you keep resetting back to the beginning of the conversation which we've already admitted you've already seeded defeat on me on that you've literally already said that i was correct in saying that you using transphobic tra transphobic harassment transphobic stereotypes is a bad move as a public figure what you're now obsessed about is this this conspiracy that like the the online voshite left or something is coming after you and listen like i think it's just deranging your analysis like like yeah people some people you're a public figure you have a huge platform a lot of people are going to talk about you and you know what sometimes it's going to be shitty sometimes it's going to be a hot take but if you're gonna like justify like um sending your enormous fan base at them or, or retweeting them and all this shit i would say that you should probably have a little bit more evidence than one time lexi retweeted a video of that was of me and they had commentary on it and this is evidence that they're trying to have my career ruined that you sound like a like a like the illuminati is out to get you and I understand that there are people who probably do want to have you deplatformed, but you can't just like project that onto everyone. And it sounds like it's going on to mostly anyone who fits the criteria of left and disagrees with me. And if that's the case, then they must be part of the conspiracy too. And maybe you're going to say, I'm a part of the conspiracy your now. argument exactly. I'll just trace this out for you because sure. everything you just said is insane. Okay. But yeah, uh, re retracing insane, this like yes. exactly. So you're totally. saying that Lexi is simply retweeting somebody. Um, she's not engaged in these email campaigns directly. She's we not have no evidence of it. You have no direct. evidence of it. Yes. You have no evidence of that. Yeah. Nothing. No you don't even have, in fact, not direct. only that, not I finish, you just talked for like three minutes. Go ahead. Sure. Okay. So Lexi hasn't done anything directly horrible to you. She's just disagreeing with takes online, blah, 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 blah. This is what you've said. So my retort is, oh, okay. Well, I called somebody mentally ill online. It's not my fault if other people are piggybacking off of that. It's not my fault if other people use those words to be transphobic. Mm -hmm. It's not my fault if other people are attacking her and she ends up deleting her Twitter. Those are other people doing it. You don't have evidence that I'm inspiring those people. But then all of a sudden you want to say, well, hold on. Well, when you tweeted at the exact same time that you did it, a bunch of people flooded Wait, my message. Yes, my message. Destiny, oh, well, hold, this is this beggar's me belief. Me no, this is so disingenuous me, oh, and you know this is. Oh, I'm sorry. Destiny, oh, wait, I'm I sorry. I keep talking over you because you're getting the like, no, no, go, go, go for it. But this over is so over again and just repeating your point. So I have to finish what I was oh saying. So you're saying that I need to be held ultimately accountable for every single thing that happens nope. as a result of my audience or, no, or that's not, not what even I said my ever. audience. You Never said even said that once. That aren't in my audience. You're saying Never that I even said that responsible once. for how my my rhetoric can influence people that see my tweets to go and attack people that I specifically didn't say that. I say something that might be perceived as transphobic or has been used potentially in the past as a transphobic attack, even if it's a more broad insult, then I need to be held responsible for that language. However, if somebody else online is amplifying other messages and getting over 5,000 retweets or 5,000 likes or whatever on tweets and is doing this over and over and over again, and that leads to other people attacking me in ways that threatens my income, that person is absolved of all responsibility because reasons. That's Destiny, your you're, you're literally, you're stretching. Like, this is such a stretch. It's 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 actually hard to, like, to, to even meet it face on because you, what you're implying is that you personally tweeting and calling someone and literally the moment that you tweet... A bunch of people come in immediately defending you and you're trying to go, if this is the Gamergate, they say, oh, I didn't tell him to do anything. We know this is how this works. And what we're talking about, when we're talking about retweeting a take that you put out in public, you publicly made those statements, 
regrettable whatever the outcome may have been and people retweeted them even if they added their commentary maybe their commentary was shit but that is not equivalent to um you being able to allege that they want to have your career taken down what i am saying and the, uh, the, what i've argued is that your tweet your personal tweet that says this person is mentally ill to your giant audience of very very intense fans is actually an action that you have some responsibility in. And again, I have stated this so many times, it's disingenuous for you to even act like I haven't said it. Obviously, you're not responsible for every single action, but there has to be, there is a line there where, yeah, it is very obvious that you indeed did start this particular shitstorm with your tweet, with the way that you decided to go around it. And yeah, you do bear some responsibility for the audience that is parasocially attached to you in one way or another. So That's when Lexi retweets my video mm -hmm. with a bad faith comment yep. and that movement ends up departnering me on Twitch, she has no responsibility for it. But when I attack somebody that's already attacked me on Twitter and I use a phrase that other people can use as being transphobic that is inherently not transphobic at all, I'm responsible for How many for people? That. Wait, wait, the Destiny. Wait, 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 wait. You're, you're going off on another thing. Wait, you're going off on another thing. Some hold on. consistency hold on. in terms of how responsible you hold people for their online discourse no, no, no. and you provided none. No, that's this is completely you're literally just talking you're not even talking you've given to me. me an ungodly amount of responsibility for everybody that does anything Destiny. even not fans of mine what that do you even like things you're literally just you're literally just not engaging with the point at this point the fact okay. of the matter is that what you are citing right now is is completely and patently absurd it's 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 off the rails that you would even make these comparisons you're you're saying you can keep saying wait, 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 over again, you're like, saying not true you are saying hold on i'm gonna lay this out for everyone to understand these aren't responses listen you're saying that one, how many, you said fucking 500,000 views in one retweet of that video that happened to go viral. Somebody had commentary, which is, again, this is what you make your show for. Takes and hot takes and whatever. Somebody said, oh, I don't like liberals, whatever. You're saying that her, uh, that, that the amount of responsibility that somebody who retweets one of thousands of people who retweeted the take that you broadcasted initially to thousands of people, regardless of at which point it went viral that person is as culpable as when you single-handedly send in an army of simps to go harass people and whether you intend it or not that is not comparable at all and the the fact you're trying to equate it is desperate let's say that somebody makes a transphobic comment towards a trans person online mm -hmm. and somebody else retweets that transphobic comic uh comment do you think that that person that retweeted it bears any responsibility for what happens to the person um po yeah probably yeah yeah for sure yeah, probably. I would. I would. So argue that's somebody the case. clips a video mm -hmm. explicitly trying to show my take in the worst frame possible, oh, and I is mean, involved you, that, in the community that's, that's thing. They're trying to get me bit... departnered, and they want to report okay. my shit. And somebody I mean, would amplify that tweet. But do you that even have evidence have of that? Wait, that. but here's the thing. This is where we always just go back to: Do you have the evidence? Do you even have the evidence that Conyer? who originally posted the tweet. And I agree, clip chimping is kind of like- lo a... I love the, the the standard of evidence. Like, I need to Wait, see no, no, a no. video footage from inside the Wait, house. Yes, literally yes, the because frame. yes, the burden of evidence is on you who's alleging a conspiracy. Obviously, you know this. I mean, like there are Discord logs that leak from their community where sure. they talk about reporting me. There's the fact that well, the person like clipped. I that, love how I love okay. how in order for me to prove that there was like some attempt to get me departnered or wait, banned from these no, no, platforms. No, no. I know there was- No, 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 no. Wait, 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 please wait, wait. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, Destiny. Mentally ill, which other Destiny. people apparently have in the Please, past Jesus used Christ. to discourage trans people. Destiny. I love that the standard of evidence is so much higher Destiny. on my end. Than it is on Destiny, their end. that's not even mm -hmm. close. I'm not, I've never said that there isn't some group of people who are trying to get you departnered. But you can't just allege that anybody who you have beef with, or that even these people that you have beef with, are a part of that conspiracy and therefore justified in being destroyed by whatever you want to do. Like, you can't do that. That doesn't make sense. That's conspiratorial. It's, 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 you know, it's kind of deranged. Like, that's the way that you're going, a approaching this. And gotcha. it's like, yeah, and it's like, I don't know, it's funny for somebody, you know, you throw out a lot of like delusional, deranged, all this shit, but you're literally saying like, first of all, you don't even have evidence that Conyer was involved in some sort of conspiracy. They, they tweeted out something that you, the take you made, which was inflammatory. You know, you make these inflammatory tweets. It sucks. Yeah, sometimes bad things happen. My and, take and was a wait, part wait. of an hour-long conversation. Yep, sure, that sure. Uh huh. That's on. fine. And yeah, I agree. I've been, I have been clip chimp before. It happens. Mm -hmm. It's a risk of streaming. I agree that it's kind of shitty. Um, and it can be, it can spiral out of control with certain things. But you don't mm -hmm. even have evidence that Conyer was directing people to, um, like deplatform you or anything like that. You've, I, I, and I understand that, like deplatforming can like like departnering can really hurt but like 
what you've jumped to is this sort of like blanket associative hate that's just completely conspiratorial and you don't have any evidence I'm for like it. I'm blanket and associative it at is, all. I'm just literally I'm asking is. for like similar like uh, standards to be applied on both I sides. I am applying I completely for similar reasons. Standards. You don't wish to do this. No, I absolutely don't even try that. Here, it's so simple. Come to the end of our Destiny, conversation. Destiny, come on. It is literally saying come on and saying wait, 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 wait a second. I know you're, you're, are there any final points you want to go over? Are we good on this conversation? Well, here's the last thing I'll say. Uh, mm -hmm. You choosing directly to tweet someone and direct anger at them and signal to your audience that it's okay to be transphobic to them, intentional or not, is completely different than one person out of literally hundreds of thousands of people who happen to see a video that you intentionally put out, whether it was clipped unfairly or not. It wasn't edited. It was just clipped unfairly. But whether or not it was, it, they're totally different things. And every, you and everyone in your audience knows that. So it's been wonderful talking with you. I appreciate uh, you having me on. It's been an intense conversation. I hope we will talk again in the future. Yeah, it's been fun. I hope yeah. that in the future we all have the same responsibility online and yeah. we don't go around holding some people to greater levels of accountability than the others. And I hope that when we ask for insane levels of evidence from some people that we also demand that similar level of evidence. Oh yeah, us. first conspiracy, absolutely. Anyway, thank you. First conspiracy, yep, have fun, be Come careful. Come hang out, um, demonmama.com. This is the same political like, affiliation that thinks the CIA coordinated every horrible fucking thing in the USA I mean, and South America. Okay, there we go. There's There's that left wait, 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 you want to talk about that? You want to talk about that? It's been fun. Um, oh, you want to talk about that? Hey, your little lefty phantom came back up. What a coward! What a baby! What a baby! He hung up on me! <laughs> Fucker hung up on me! Jesus fucking Christ. Holy shit. Well, that was interesting.